welcome 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 to the stream how goes it today we should have this yes okay that does work um fine Got a little bit of dinner still here. But that's okay. Because I'm live early. Right? I'm so fucking happy that that train went through. Actually, literally, while no one's here, give me a second. Yeah, give me a second. While, uh... While that trade is actually going through, I'm gonna go ahead and make some roster adjustments. Alright, so that'll be good. So then I'm gonna get him. I got two spots on my roster that I could fill. And then I'll be able to get someone else in the second line of free agency once I fill my IR spot. Um. to do any more of this on my phone after stream or something yeah i can still go through 3 a.m so i got time sick all right well that'll work hit continue i was just about to embark on a journey here um so I need deep brine. I need some jelly stone. Three jelly stone. I have some lava dust and wild honey. And besides that, I am up to date on all my upgrades. I could like get more stuff for like teleporters. Um but it's basically just more of the same shit. Right? Like more jelly stone, more jelly stone, more lava dust. I guess I would Possibly need primordial oil. Right, like if I want. No, because I only can build one of these. Yes, never mind. And then more honey. So more of the same stuff. Um, honey, deep brine, jelly stone, lava dust. And that is the mission that we are going on. All of our slimes are living it up out here. I did a little bit of rearrangement of the farm. I played it a lot since we've been live. Um. Uh, I should have captured some more of the hunter guys the last time I was out. Hold on. Um, I'm gonna do a quick sell of what's around me. I'm not gonna run to all the different corners of my farm. But I am gonna sell these lords. I'll probably do two trips of it, honestly. I won't need to do a second trip of the, uh... Hunter guys, since there's only, what, 20? 14? Here. But, um, I've mostly done everything there is to do in this world, if I'm being entirely honest. But there's a few upgrades I need to get, and then a few, like, collectibles, basically. And I don't necessarily know where they are, but... We're gonna figure it out. I should have got some water ports the last time I was farming. Okay, um... 
Um, that'll work. Um, let's put the roosters away because I'm not using them currently. I will though. Um, now let's do the rest of the farming over here. Sick. Um. chicks because I was full and then you're good. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to check if this had any old roostros. No, it did not. Um, let's go ahead and put you away then. I can probably start using that to feed the hunters, but um, that's fine. And then this is going to top off here. Achievements. Really wish this game had achievements. It'd be super dope. Because that would be an easy way for me to like know that I have 100% of the game. And you know, get that level of satisfaction. Holy shit, Tabby Ports are selling well. I do not know why. Obviously, Google Ports are selling pretty well too. Not that it matters, I have 50,000 coin, and I do not need 50,000 coin. Okay, let's go on that mission, get some brine, jelly stone, um, lava dust, and it'd probably be two missions. Lava dust will probably be a separate mission. But we'll see. Maybe not. Um, yeah, the deep brine. I think there's one, like, literally, yeah, right here. Uh, deep brine, lava dust, honey. Yeah, because the honey is probably going to be a different trip from the lava dust. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 Okay. Um, that's okay. We can, we can be okay with that. Let's get over here on the side and look for deep brine over here on the coast. This game's so good, dude. I need a shit ton of deep brine, admittedly. Um, I only need a couple honey. I only need three jelly stones. Uh, it's all right there. I'm gonna get a few extra if I can, just because it's taking up a spot in my inventory, and I don't want to have literally zero if I don't have to. So, we get more jelly stone than three if I can, and then I think we can down here. So. No, no, wrong cave. Um, and then, yeah, the honey and the lava dust are going to be on two different sides of the map. The lava dust is going to be on, uh, one teleporter, on the other side of one teleporter, and then, bro, just drop Matt Ryan. <laughs> Literally did it on stream, in case you guys are, were here and paying attention and curious. Literally did it on stream. I'm going to go the honey route because there's something else that I want to do on the honey side, so... Let's go this way. While I am out and about. Ba -da -dun -da -dun -da -da. Let me look for any more deep brine before going. Probably would have the dandy shit. I really like that trade. I really like that trade too. I'm surprised Rachel did it. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think he got fucked by it because he needed mixing. And that was how I sold it to him. I was like, look, 
you don't need I'm not gonna lie to you you don't need Eno Benjamin right I told him that but I was like we, you need Mixon so like you need this trade to go through and that's the best that I can really offer you other than a little bit more money um, I got everything the fuck I need out of that like I flee slow key. No, no, no. Do uh, you think you flee? Dude, I won that trade. I'm sorry. The wager pointed it out too, uh, and he was right, and I didn't really deny it. I was like, yeah, well, so he said, he said I really won that trade. And I was like, we all won the trade. That's, or like, he said that my team really improved, right? Like, I'm only giving up so much, and I'm getting whatever, whatever. Um, and I was like, yeah, but that's the point of the trade, is that everyone's supposed to do that. But no, I i mean, I got to start, which admittedly was a backup quarterback for you. So, like, I get that. I get where you think the fleece came in, and you're not necessarily wrong. Um, but I have a starting quarterback, and the halfback back that I drafted, which is funny. Um, but And a starting halfback, basically, for two backup halfbacks, basically. So that was the win for me, 110%. Um, but also, like, we all did benefit. Like, Wager wager was the most even. Wagers was pretty fair. Like, I genuinely benefit. I gave up two backup halfbacks for two starters, basically. Wager gave up a starting receiver and, what, a backup halfback for a starting halfback and a backup halfback. What was the second one he gave up? What did he give to... Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, basically starting receiver and a backup halfback, an injured halfback for a starting halfback and a backup halfback. So his was pretty fair. Um, he, he mainly just needed it to be done one way or another. Um, but then yours was solid, too. Like, you got a starting receiver and um, basically a, a starting halfback. If we're being entirely honest, like, Josh Jacobs just hasn't had a touchdown this year is the only, you know, like down, like he's been doing good and he's been getting touches and he's been getting good yards with it. Um, he just hasn't been getting, um, he just hasn't been getting touchdowns. Um, and so that's why he's hit or miss in that sense. But also like, I mean, he's kind of a starting halfback and you definitely get a starting receiver at the cost of a backup quarterback and a starting halfback that you don't necessarily benefit from because you have everyone else on that offense. Um, but no, it was, I think it was good. I think, I think it was a good trade. I don't think Wager got fucked. I think he got the most fucked, but I do think all of us, I think all of us improved. I literally think all three teams improved. I was gonna wait to drop Matt Ryan, because I was like, well, I should probably wait for the trade to go through, but I've got a couple a couple pickups that I really want to make today, tomorrow, whatever. Well, that's a little bit. Uh, Mixon isn't why I win or lose, so it really doesn't matter to me. Yeah, but it will be why Wager wins or loses. Yeah, that's fair. That's 100% fair. That's 100% fair. Okay. Did you really... Oh, no, you're a combo, so that's why... I'm gonna pick you up, because you're actually pretty valuable. Um... Might as well pick this up too. But I really need honey instead. And lava dust in the other spot. But I don't think I'm gonna be getting lava dust on this trip. So I, I'm okay picking up all of this shit if I'm getting lava dust on a separate trip entirely. This game's a blast and you should play it. It's a vibe. It's just a, it's just a fucking vibe. Like I'm not even gonna sit here and try and say like, oh this game's revolution. It's just a fucking vibe. The game just kind of fucking slaps. I just... I... It, it's like... It's like when someone says, Money can't buy happiness, and then it's like, Yeah, but I've never seen someone cry in a Lamborghini. Um, that's what this is. I have never seen someone cry while playing this game. This game is too good. Too good. Just a vibe. Call of Duty could be a great game, but I've seen people cry playing Call of Duty. Uh, I mean, week one, I legit would have won without a effect, let alone when he put up 21. Yeah. That's fair. That's fair, and it's possible he doesn't put up 21. 
you know? And, and again, I think I think you needed to be okay with getting rid of Mixon. And frankly, you need to get rid of more Bengals players. <laughs> but at least either Mixon, Burrow, or Jamar. You can get away with the defense, you can get away with the kicker, and you can get away with one or two offensive players. You cannot get away with kicker defense and three offensive players. You can't do it. It's too much on one team. You can't do it. Um, you got lucky. All right, you're 3-0, aren't you? Yeah, you got lucky and you're 3-0, but like... Yeah. Yeah. Not because of you have five players from the same team. <laughs> Admittedly, you probably traded the worst one out of the out of the five. I mean, kicker and defense don't really fucking matter, so who cares if that's the worst one or not the worst one? But like, out of Joe Burrow, Jamar Chase, and Joe Mixon, I feel like you did get rid of the worst one. So to be able to kind of save your team, wouldn't have changed the results either. Yeah. I, I really do. I, I think that was a good trade all around. I'm happy it went through. I, and I do think we needed to give wager money. I don't know that you needed to give wager money, if I'm being entirely honest. But I do think 15 from me to wager was how that needed to be handled. I do think that there needed to be uh, more compensation. Because, I mean, Eno Benjamin's cool and all. And he might even be, like, solid. Like, he might actually end up doing damage. Especially with return duties and whatever, whatever, right? But, but, you know, yeah, I think I think I needed to give him money. I did. I, I'm surprised that he demanded it from you as well. And frankly, I'm kind of surprised you accepted, honestly. I was expecting you to counter because, like, why would you need to give up 10 bucks? But either way, I don't really care. I'm cool with it. Ninja Brother can turn his angle, which is something I'm, uh, to look at going forward. That's fair. Yeah, my other point to wager was, I was like... He, he didn't want to get rid of Mitchell. The last standing point on that trade was, he did not want to get rid of, uh... Mitchell, right? Um... Elijah Mitchell. But... What I told him was, I was like, dude, he might get hurt again. Like, you're, you're saying you don't want to get rid of Mitchell because, like, oh, he's gonna come back and be, like, useful. But, like... You didn't want him at the beginning of the season because he was going to get hurt, right? So it's like, who's to say he's not just going to get hurt again or that he's even going to come back, right? Now, I am willing to and need to take that bet, right? Like, I need that halfback, right? Like, I don't need it. I have two good halfbacks. But, like, judging by the, how my season's been going so far, I need to take that bet, right? That that um, Mitchell's going to be healthy. And even if I don't need to take that bet, I have Wilson, right? That's the point is that, I, like, if I get... Mitchell, I don't need to take the bet because I have Wilson already. Whereas Wager can't afford to take the bet, especially if he's not going to get Mixon, right? Because he needed Mixon in the first place. So if he's not going to get Mixon and he's banking on Mitchell to come back and be healthy and run his team, bro, his, his top halfback is someone that he's playing the backup halfback of the same team for. I was like, wait, you need Mixon. I'm not stopping Mixon regardless uh, and getting a starting halfback and wide receiver was just worth, yeah. No, I mean, that's solid. So, I, not that anyone cares, but I am looking for these fruits. They are Moondew Nectars, and you cannot farm them. Like, you could plant a, a carrot, right, and farm carrots in this game. You apparently can't farm Moondew Network, Nectar, which is just annoying. Did you just... You did not. Oh, no, 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 you probably ate. Okay, that's that's probably fine. Because he probably ate these mangoes, mint mangoes. Either way, he ate something that was his favorite, and he is of the flutter type, which means it could have been these. Almost had a deal for Saquon, almost had one for Debo. I felt more confident in this trade. That's fair. Saquon's good. Saquon's really fucking good. Saquon may have been one of the steals of the draft, honestly. Saquon and Corderell. I don't know how the fuck Corderell Patterson dropped that low. I, I literally just didn't realize he was gone. When you took him, I literally didn't realize he was still on the board. I just assumed he was gone. Like, I just wasn't paying attention or some shit. Like, I was like, there's no way that he's... Like, I didn't even go looking for him. Because I was just like, there's, he, he's not still on the board. But yeah, Corderell Patterson and I think Saquon are going to be the steals of the draft. Um... 
but Duvernay is going to be the pickup of the year, I think. I'm still willing to ship him, because um, I, I think everyone agrees, me included, he's not going to continue this level of production, but like, because he's got four touchdowns in three weeks, but like, he's good. Uh, he gets, I mean, he gets a couple receptions a week, and he gets pushing 100 yards a week and return yards and stuff, and that doesn't even count the receiving, so he's good. Finesse with the Kirk uh, he's solid. Jimmy G. Yeah, yeah, we're talking about Jimmy G, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No, I was, I was talking to Wager and Luke about it during the game, and, uh, Basically, I knew it was coming. Like, I, not that I knew I the interception, whatever was coming. I knew yeah. that I was gonna get a text from Wager and a text from Luke <laughs> after the game. Um, I mean, fuck, I almost even texted you like, <laughs> how you holding up, buddy? <laughs> um, but no, I was just like, like, I'm not trying to say he's perfect, right? And no. I'm not even trying yeah, to say you he's never great. Have anyone who's listened to you talk about Jimmy G. But he just is good. And even after watching that game, I know that this is an unpopular opinion, but even that game included, I don't change my mind. He is good and he played good. Yeah, I mean, the stepping out the back of the end zone, not so great, but that, you're back I, in your own end zone. Honestly, happen. the way that all played, if that was the worst thing he did that live. game, which it was, yeah. I'm cool with that. Like, it wasn't that bad. Obviously, your couch coaches are going to be saying shit about it, yada, yada. But it wasn't that bad. First off, it wasn't his fault because he's getting rushed by two people immediately yeah. after the ball is hiked in his end zone. Second yeah. off, it's the, like... Like, oh, he needs to have awareness of where he is to the inch. Like, it was half of his heel. Like, no one has that awareness. That's why earlier in the day, DK Metcalf caught a ball but couldn't keep his feet in the end zone. And Drake London of the of the Atlanta Falcons caught a ball, but it was after he had stepped out of bounds and then came back in to catch it, which is not legal. So he got flagged for it. So it's like, yeah, like people step out of bounds. Like, they don't know where yeah. their feet are to the half inch. Has never been, your argument has never been that he's like, one of the greatest QBs of all time, but exactly. he's damn good enough for the job he has. Exactly, he is damn good and enough damn for the job, the job he has, and will someone's do job, at least. Someone's some starter job, job yeah. somewhere he is good enough for. But, no, yeah, it, it's, yeah. Right, I pulled up, I pulled up Slime Rancher, I'm playing Fuck the yes, dude. intro right now. Is it co-op or just solo? Uh, it is just solo, but it, it's also just a fucking vibe. Yeah. Sure. It is an absolute vibe. Um. I'm excited. But also, like, we watched... It might be one of the worst games of football I've ever seen. Was yeah, the, Pat, you were talking uh, about... Packers Bucks. Yeah, Packers Bucks. Oh, my God, dude. Like, <laughs> that bad. Dude, it was just, like... I mean, the score sums it up, right? Yeah, like, yeah. And it was, like... Sure, like, the teams are playing defense, but both of these QBs are incapable of evading a rush. <laughs> and yet, like... True. I don't remember seeing a lot of sacks. <laughs> so defense wasn't exactly, like... Like real, yeah, yeah. Right? Like it was good, Sh sure. But for um, it to be what is it, fourteen six? Dude, it was ugly. Oh, it was so bad. So oh, no, bad. No, 14, uh, 14 12 because oh, they did score and miss the right, two points. Because no, okay, okay, because and, uh, dude, I was furious okay, the entire time I'm watching this. I'm like the packs have literally locked down Brady the entire game. I mean, has had. No, nothing going for him the entire game. Yeah, like yeah, the yeah. two field goals they kicked were like, I think a random number generated combination of field position and two first downs. <laughs> like it wasn't a comprehensive approach to it a was field just, goal. That it was, was just gonna like, have to happen at we, some point. They, yeah, they got like a turnover and then like one first down and they're like, oh shit, field goal range. Um, <laughs> like the Pats had locked down uh, Brady. And yet at the very end of the game, they decide, you know what? We're actually going to play prevent the whole way down the field now. We're just going to let him throw wherever tenure, he wants tenure, to. Tenure, tenure, tenure. And tenure, actually, tenure, he tenure, started tenure, tenure. like nine for nine. Like, he actually exactly. was, was like, like completing his passes. Yeah, it was like, he's just 10 yards, 10 yards, 10 yards, 10 yards. And then personal foul or something, just like a random flute penalty that brought him to the like two yard line. Yeah. And then, fuck, yeah, Brady converted. <laughs> Who would have fucking thought? <laughs> like, fucking you literally thought. have locked this man down the entire game. Brady is... 
mid 40s. Yeah. He could barely throw a ball past 30 yards. Do you really think the deep ball is your threat right now? <laughs> Like ah, that's what you nowhere. needed to cover. That's what you needed to cover. So you're gonna play prevent the entire way down the field. I'm like, I, it, I it's because I've seen that game before. I've seen yeah. the Falcons just decide. Well, we're up so much. Let's play prevent now. Exactly. And, and then, then you decide. actually do let them score, which you can kind of let happen, but only if you can stop everything else. And you like, can't. And you it's can't. It's like, Brady. It's Brady. Like, why would you let Brady be Brady? Yeah. I just don't. I literally the whole way down the field. I'm complaining to Emma. I'm like, why haven't they changed it? Yeah. Like, no, that's he's just, that it's happens past all the fucking time. Past, and I don't get working. how. So like, there are parts of of football, right? Like, it's like I, I think I'm pretty knowledgeable with football. Away. But there are parts of football where I just look at it and go, how has this not been coached out of the game? Right? Like, yeah. Like, like there are parts of football that like coaches are way fucking smarter than me on. So when they sure. think of solutions, they implement them, and we no really no longer really have that problem anymore. Right? Like, I look at fumbles as like that shit's gonna happen, especially yep. when you have people directly coming in to punch the ball out. But like the way that coaches coach and the way that players play, given what the coaches have coached, has. Like, I don't want to say gotten rid of fumbles, but it's not just a random coin flip now, right? Like, there are people who just fumble more than other people, right? And, like, it's just like, yeah, sure. like, it can be coached away. But, like, apparently just letting a team march down the field at the end of the game it, when it's, like, Dude. very important for them to not. And, in fact, they haven't all game. Is something all game. That, that was hasn't been coached not, out of the league yet. I just don't dude, get it's it. It's not like it's not like it was a forty to thirty something game, right? Where like offense has just been running free for both teams. No, you've mm -hmm. locked him down. Why abandon it? Yeah. Yeah. It was so confusing. I was, and I, I, I've seen it play out before, and I just uh -huh. don't get how any team. I would rather go down and you go to your fans and say, "Yeah, we played the game that got us there, and it let us down at the end." Yeah. And that's a justifiable play. For real. I get it. Like, if this worked all game, this and it didn't all game. work we at the end because they had the deep ball that, yeah, they could have done all game, and it, they didn't, and it didn't work, right? Like, so it's like, as long as you keep doing what you're doing, if they eventually exploit it, like, oh, well, I mean, shit, oh, well. how could we have known that it worked exactly. all game? And frankly, if it came down, if it did work all game, and it working once is what lost you the game, you've got a couple <laughs> other problems to look at. Yeah. Like, exactly. Like the fact you only the fact they put up two touchdowns at the start of the game and then nothing the rest of the game is probably your bigger problem. Exactly. It's Lego building time. Wait, are you? Oh, your car came in. That's right. Word. Wait, I thought no, no, I thought that was. I thought that was illusions present. Why am I thinking about a Lego car? Apparently, Roger saw something on the video board uh, from film and pulled it to his defense before the final play. Yeah, did you see that in the interview? Oh, no. Yeah, I yeah, see that. someone, because Bucks are at home. So, someone like from the Bucks, like whatever team, played it, some clip on the video board, like on the big screen. Uh, and then, like, Roger saw something in it, and he was like, like the one where they got the penalty or whatever. Um, but he yeah. saw something while they were like showing that replay of the play they were about to do and score on. Oh my um, god. And he told like to the coach and to the team or whatever, like, hey, watch out for this because I see this on the on the board and like they've been doing this all game or whatever it was, right? Like Yeah. Watch out for this. This is a pattern that I recognize. Uh and then they'd oh stop the two god. point conversion. Yeah. Yeah. That's the thing is that like so Jones basically at the end of the game it came down to kind of luck that yeah. they were able to stop Brady and it didn't need to be. It had outplayed his team. They stopped the him the whole time. game and it wasn't luck. <laughs> yeah. And it wasn't luck. <laughs> Dude, I was just so confused and upset. Yeah. Because I'm like, I get that we you have to play with a little bit of respect for Brady. But yeah. also I've watched him play this game and like yeah, yeah, he can still take the team all the way to a Super Bowl. I genuinely believe oh, that. Yeah. Oh yeah, but they look like dog shit in that he can still take them to the Super Bowl 100. percent Yeah, exactly. But it's it will be halfway because teams keep doing what the packs did, which is start playing scared at the very end of the exactly. game. Exactly, playing differently. And Instead he's of playing, read Brady, it and see Brady it. Was, like I would say, Brady's as good as Derek Carr right now. 
And yet, no one would just switch to playing prevent up 14 to 6 with a minute on the clock against yeah. Eric Parr. They would just play the game they've played the whole time. Yeah. And count on Derek to throw a forced pass that turns into a pick instead of saying, have at it. <laughs> yeah. Like, they got all the way down the field with a minute 30 on the clock and never burned their one timeout. Yeah. Yeah. How the f do you have your job after that? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, though, like, I, it just, I just don't get it. Like, I don't know what the fucking answer is, but not that. And it happens all the time. Yeah, not That's what that I just didn't. don't get. It's not that. We know it's not that because it doesn't work. Exactly. We've I seen see it, it not work over and over and over. Like, and it's just like, one. I don't know if I dude. sent this to you, but week one, I was looking up, like, the Falcon score while we were in the airport, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and there was a tweet yeah. when I was looking it up on Google, and the tweet was, the Falcons have an insane knack of making every quarterback look like their potential Hall of Fame self. <laughs> and I'm like, oh god, that's just such a perfect summary of late game Falcons play. Oh, I love that so much. I love that so much. But yeah, the most majority of that game, I was just watching it and like, and it was a mix of like, Aaron Rodgers would throw like a bad pass to nobody. And then he would throw a decent pass and it would get dropped. And yeah. it was just a combination of that. Yeah. The whole game. Yeah. Not like a ton of penalties, I guess, but just like, ugh. I, I guess it would have been better if there were a ton of penalties. <laughs> Both teams play, they keep a clean, exceptionally slow and boring game. Oh, that's where that's gonna go. Oh, that's cool. Where'd you go, little slime? How's this Got game treating you, Aaron? Uh, I'm, I'm figuring it out. Like, it kind of okay. seems like just kind of explore the map. It is. Like, I, it's, I it gives you a little baby tutorial, and then it's like yeah. immediately like, all right, have fun. Have and fun out there. You do. You just go out there and you're like, no way. I can actually like go here. Like, this is cool. Yeah, so I'm gonna go drop off in my little area now. In my coral. Uh, wall. I wish this were multiplayer so badly. Holy shit. Yeah, it'd be good. Like, I could just, like, come check out your farm. You little Rex. Yeah, that's it. That's the thing is, I still gotta figure out like, what I'm actually doing. Exactly. Yeah, so I would recommend. Um, so you have your corral that it tells you to, like, build at the beginning yeah. of the game. I would recommend building a farm. You don't really need a coop yet. Um, I would recommend building a farm. I guess like, almost okay, immediately farm. is kind of the way to put it. Okay. Um, but yeah, like the, whatever the next square you build is, have a corral and a farm. And those will pretty much go hand in hand. Almost every time you build a corral, you're going to build a farm as well. Um, for whatever feeds that animal you're putting in the corral. Okay. Yeah. Dude, these slimes just like eat animals yeah yeah that it's, some of them will so the pink ones eat everything so fruits yeah. veggies and uh chickens um yeah, chickens are wild dude like those poor chickens <laughs> i didn't know yeah just wait until you have a coop of them and you're just literally firing 40 of them into a pen or to a corral uh, yeah got any old mustang it's 1800 pieces fuck yeah dude Fuck yes. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, have you put together your Lego I did. set? Yeah, it's really How long did it take? It took me about, I think, four and a half hours with like a 30 minute break for dinner. Okay, four and a half hours total. One yeah. person. And how many pieces yeah. was it? I guess I can probably I just look it Yeah, I don't remember off the top of my head. I've got the box somewhere in the room here, though. I could find it, but. Yeah. I'll just look it up. And it was the Moonlander? Yeah. Word, word, word. But it was honestly like, it was so good. I mean,. I haven't done it in so long. The fabricator allows you to craft back upgrades and gadgets. Okay, okay. Yeah, piece of love, piece of love. Sensitivity on my uh, left stick is a little aggressive. Are you on keyboard mouse for this? 
I am, but that's because I kind of just do everything in keyboard and mouse. I would imagine controller is just the way to go. Yeah, or it's, someone it's like you or Luke, yeah. It's fun, yeah. This game is so fucking solid. And like, I just like keep like getting, I think I fully explored the map now, other than like a few things that I like know that I need to unlock. Um, and I'm working towards those, but I just like kind of keep finding shit. <laughs> And I'm just like, oh, cool. I can, you know, run down this little, like, route here, and I can jetpack yeah. up here, and then... It's just so sick. Um... Oh, yeah, honey. I need honey. I'm just gonna be on this side, but I'm gonna need to drop some shit for that, and I've got a lot of various things that I don't want to drop. Honey. Yeah, shrug the goods. It's over here. Oh, I did this already. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Have I done the whole thing here? I think I did do the whole thing here. There's a little cargo pod there. And then this was oh, but... Can't do that. What is that? I jumped into a uh, pond in the underground cave. <laughs> Not a good idea. Yes, you do die if you Not jump me. in just like water. Not great as it turns out. Oh fuck, that's like a lot of honey up here. I got a lot of honeys, yo. Alright, admittedly, I'm just gonna. Mm -hmm. That's one. And you can't, so if you look at my farm, like if you ever happen to watch stream, um, I have not merged any slimes, but you can, and if I'm being bluntly honest, in theory you should, um, but it is a bit more risky. So the reason I don't is just because I want to kind of like have the regulars of every different type of slime, like I kind of like collecting it like yeah. that, if you will. Um, but... If you have a large one, if you have a mixed one, so say you mix the pink one with the whatever, with the cotton one, the little bunny one, um, yeah. and then you feed it, it will drop both a pink and a cotton plort for you. Oh, okay. Yeah, so uh, it's actually better to do that. The scary thing, though, is if you either intentionally or unintentionally mix it with a third one, it will turn into like those tars, the black ones, and it'll just like eat everything and by the end of it just like explode and then you won't have it left. So I don't wanna do that. Yeah, you don't wanna do that, no. Um but then also like the the cotton slime, so like you can feed it what is it? Cotton slime is veggies, right? Yeah, veggies. So you like feed it carrots and stuff, but its favorite is the water lettuce. And so if you feed it a water lettuce, you'll actually get two plorts. So if you feed a large one, one that gives cotton and pink, a water lettuce, it'll give you two cotton and two pink. So you can set up like a really efficient farm where you're getting like all the shit. Oh, I don't have this. Oh. Aha. Uh -huh. All right, time to figure out what it takes to open that door. So that's gonna be yeah. I need to take the beach. I basically need a hug right. Oh, is it? Is it up there? How do I? Oh, and then also for the upgrades, like, you can get whatever upgrades, like, like all of them are good. But the one that'll, like, progress you most in the game is easily the jetpack. If you can get the jetpack, you're set. It'll, it'll unlock, like, a majority of the map. Okay, I need to really climb in. I'm kind of annoyed that I'm in this position, because, what the fuck? Because this isn't even gonna, like fucking help me, but I just want it to. I need to get higher first. 
but I could probably come from around here if I can get up there. What's up, Fast Miner? How you doing, man? Oh, I forgot I had a quesadilla here. It's cold. You go like that. That's that like the uh, water lettuce I was talking about, but you probably haven't come across water lettuce yet. You might have, probably not. Though. I've come across. Yeah. So, so here's another game that M's gonna make fun of you for playing. Not hundred <laughs> percent. Literally just saying the name out loud. Like, oh. A bunny slime. <laughs> Upgrade, you can upgrade your backpack. So yeah, so if you go like that would be big too. When you go to the thing that sells the plorts, if you just turn left and go down those stairs, you'll find yeah. like your your factory and whatnot where you can like yeah. mm -hmm, sell that and all that good shit. And I should always turn in my plorts for cash, right? Correct. Sometimes you'll want to put it into the refiner for upgrades. Um so like the you know, so like you can only carry what like 20 of like a type of plort or something like yeah. that Yeah, so you can upgrade that so you can carry 30 <laughs> and then 40 and I think even 50 I'm up to 40 right now um, Obviously you can carry more of them at a time um, But like to get that upgrade you may need to put whatever like 10 pink plorts into the refiner first Right, so like Yeah Oh, sick I knew that had to open. Okay to mix slimes in a corral? It is. Yes, yeah, so that's what I was saying. In theory, it's better. Yeah. Um, okay. So for right now, I'm keeping them isolated, but I, I don't have to. Correct. You don't have to. In theory, it's better. It gives more rewards uh, because you, for one thing of food, you get two um, ports. You get two rewards, wherever. Um, so it, it is better in theory, but that's how you can if if you accidentally mix it with a third one or if they mix themselves <laughs> basically with a third one um then they'll turn into the tars and they'll just start fucking shit up okay so some of my cotton buddies turn into largos yes yeah, so a pink largo yeah yeah so the, okay, so if you feed it um you'll get if you feed it like a carrot like a regular ass vegetable you'll get one cotton and one pink plort for the single carrot. Um, but if you feed it something that it's favorited, which in this case, since the cotton favorites the water lettuce, you can get two cotton and two pink plorts for one water lettuce. Okay. Mm -hmm. so it's all about figuring out like what they like. Yeah, and if you check the Slimepedia, it'll tell you what their favorite is. Yeah, it will. Yeah, I'll fucking do that. Aaron, why does it sound like you're not gonna check the slime pedia? Well, I'm on it right now. I'm on it. <laughs> it's a good read. You run out of you run out of space in your corrals like really quickly. Like they're yeah. out of escape already because there's too many of them in it. Yeah, yeah. I I only keep ten of each kind. Um, but earlier to make a little bit more money a little faster, I did keep a few more in there. What do you do with the other guys? You just turn them in. Wait, what? What do you do with the other guys? Oh, if I captured more than 10 of them, I'll just yeah. eat them. You'll just eat them somewhere else? Just, okay. Yeah, I so eat it out of the farm somewhere, because I only need 10. Uh, the goal is not to have as many as possible, is what you're saying. No, you can. Like, if you do feed them, you will make more money, like, more ports and thus more money. So, like, early game, it's not bad to have more of them, but I just got annoyed with having so many of them, and so <laughs> I went ahead and just decided to, um, toss them other than 10. The cotton ones have got to stop escaping, man. Yeah, yeah. So you can upgrade the farm 
So you can add high walls, you can add uh, like a top to it. Oh, not enough V-Bucks. <laughs> Damn it. I need to get more food to feed these little assholes. Yeah, you need V-Bucks, dude. I need my V-Bucks. Oh, that's food. Okay, that's gonna give me that's gonna be the, the cheddar I And that's need. why so that's why I said you should get the um Make a second, so you'll have your corral as one of them, and then make the other one be a farm. So you can farm carrots. Or wa idea. water lettuce would be better, um, but if you haven't come across it yet, then you can just farm lettuce. Or farm carrots. Uh, I also tried to download last stream to edit it, but I couldn't. Huh. You couldn't download from YouTube or from Twitch? Interesting. Uh -huh. Stop trying to run away, you little shits. Alright, I'm gonna need three more deep brine. Alright, we got there's... high walls, baby. Alright, back in you go. Oh, there is stuff over here now. But there's still nothing over here, right? This is all stupid. up here? I must have... This is a portal. Oh, it's a portal to the Ember world. Use VLC player uh, with the YouTube URL. Okay. Wait, in that... Oh. I mean, I, I don't know if like that normally works. Like, I, I don't know. I've never, never done that. So, not quite sure. Damn it. Okay, there we go. I do need this guy up here. Look at all the happy little slimes just vibing about. Too bad I can't say the same thing about the hen hens. <laughs> A boss first slime. That's pretty cool. So if you do capture him, he's sensitive to. He's only comes out in the daytime or in the nighttime. So if you capture him, you'll have to put like the solar net on it to protect him from the sun. No. Or else yeah. he'll die. Or else he'll just literally disappear. I kept thinking the game was glitched because I like did it I like did it and I came back and he wasn't there and I was like, huh. Weird. And then I did it again and they definitely weren't there and I was like, okay, this is definitely just glitched. And then I remembered that that was a thing from the first game and I was like, oh yeah. It's gonna get my face for five hours, 10 AP video. Um, yes. Yes. Yeah, five hours, 10, especially if you're talking about mine. Mine's about three gigs an hour, so you only need about 15 gigs. 20, I guess, to be safe, but. Um. Slain the lava dust. Once I get the lava dust, then we're all good, aren't we? Yeah, so I'm literally six lava dust away from having all the upgrades I can have right now. How have you done a goof, Luke? shoot it with water you can yeet it or you can if it's not on your farm you can just ignore it yeah but he's eating some other things so we gotta get rid of it ah uh, i would do that i just yeeted him out into the ocean that's how you do baby oh no there's two more up here how did you guys do what happened to you 
Oh, it's because you got eaten by John. Yeah, so it spreads. Yep. We're getting rid of it. He really is moving quick. Here now. I don't even know how I accidentally did that. I've just been feeding all these guys and then just taking their, their excretions. <laughs> their ports. Excretions. Okay. We lost a lot of we lost a lot of good slimes out here in the field. <laughs> the good war was fought. That was not good. We could have we could have done better. <laughs> We did not, though. Yeah, this one, this one, the, the bad news is gonna make it home after this yeah, one. That was, that was on me. We, oh, and I didn't realize, like, I was trying to do, like, a really good job cleaning. Bad idea. Because <laughs> every time I would, like, walk them over to the ocean, uh, another one would spawn in. And so I realized instead I should just grab them and shoot them away from everyone else first. first and then, and then into the ocean. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. You live and you learn, dude. Unless you you're that slime, then you don't live. Yeah, but you learn. Slimes that are no longer with us can no longer learn. <laughs> uh, but I needed a lot of ports to get the money to exactly. growl and a solar shield for the cotton once I got. So the cotton, the phosphor slimes need the solar shield. Phosphor, yeah. Yes. Uh, also, you've seen the rise in 7,000. I have not. Sounds cool, though. Oh, that was okay. The solar shield is actually uh, unbelievably expensive. I did not realize. Yeah, I think the solar shield's up there in price. I didn't fuck with phosphor slimes for a while, but that was also because I didn't know that they needed a solar shield. <laughs> In theory, also just hold them in your inventory. Yeah, so I have four in my inventory, but I got a big guy. Uh, oh, okay. And he will. He's back at the base right now, but he will die soon. He will definitely die. Soon. So we're doing what we can. Ooh. Keep the little man alive. Ba -da -da. I'm fucking believable. There's it? gotta be a more targeted way to get a port and not a slime. Not really, no. I mean, you can fill your inventory with shit so that you're not picking up the wrong shit, but then you have to fill your inventory with the wrong shit. Yeah, no, that's fair. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Let's go do I some lava dust. Like I had to be doing something wrong. You are not. It is just that pink teleporter nice well, I can't get these cute berries Ooh, yeah try if you can make a farm out of those the um worth it Q berries Q berries the phosphor slimes like Q berries so if you're gonna make a phosphor slime you should also make a Q berry farm right next yeah, to it, and use that to feed it. Um, cause you guys are the, yeah, briar chicks, so let's do... I have unlimited sprint. No. Oh, I see. Uh, blue, yeah, blue in the bottom yeah. left. You can upgrade it, though. Thank you. I was say, you walk. I did see that you have to be minimum in all your classes. I thought I said I like that. I remember I was hopping out of a waterfall at the time. Um. But if I did not respond, I apologize. Pretty, pretty pumped with the minimum walk speed in this game, though. It's not bad. It's not bad. No, I'm so close, little guys. I'm so close to giving you a home. <laughs> oh, no. That was just uh, some lava dust. When's morning? Uh, fuck, I want to say 6 a.m., but I'm not sure. I've got a little bit of time. 
That seems like a fair time. Yeah, I think it's well. So I want to say nighttime starts at 1800, but also if you were to if you were to force me to guess the most accurately, I would instead change my guess to 1830. Um, which sounds fucking weird. Uh, but I swear on God, that's when I saw something turn from from daytime to nighttime, and I was like, okay. <laughs> All right, good to know. Oh, so it just puts me here. I mean, I. I guess that works. Okay. Um, I need lava dust, so I need to go into the cave on the right. Um, I think I technically need one baddie slime. I think I had nine of them. I got some baddie, dude. Some baddies. Some baddie slimes. Also, soundtrack in this game? Phenomenal, dude. Very good. I haven't actually, I haven't actually shut it off for once. Dude, it's so just solid, man. Because it's not a song. It's not. It's just happening. It's just a bop, dude. It's not a song, it's just a bop. But a little bit of, a little bit of a banger. Yeah, it's Dare I say? Really, it gives you stuff in the background. Uh, I have to go back like three steps to fix this fucky wucky. I love that. Me. Uh, okay, that video, I put that little you guys not trying to use it. Play it for me. Oh, I should give that to you. The, the, yeah, soundtrack's nice, yeah. Oh, shit, that's morning. No, my big guy. I'm sprinting, buddy. I'm sprinting. I don't know if he'll survive on your gun. I know that all the other people will survive in your gun, but the fat guy, I don't know that he'll survive on your gun. That is something I am down for you to figure out, though. So, I've got a pink Phosphor Largo, and he's surviving on my gun. Well, could I shoot him underground? Maybe. I'm not actually sure. Maybe. Stay down here for a second, buddy. It's like SP Tools and Crossing, but it tries to sound as epic as Halo. Exactly. No, it does a damn good job. We will not be accepting shade on this soundtrack or this game at all. Time to get my big boy. Alright, where do I get the lava dust from? Is it like. Oh, it's like right here. That's right. There's like a couple right. Oh. Wait, no. Yeah, there's like one right there. Okay, so it doesn't always come in the same spot, which admittedly, I did know. Guys, you can't fly out of it. I don't need. I can't also give you high walls. That's needy. <laughs> oh my god, you're all flying away. No. <laughs> Stay inside! Okay, well now I gotta pick up all of you. Until I can yeah, get not my until I can trust you. All of them flew away within about. I believe 10 it. Seconds. There is, there's one, the flutter slimes that are super like late game. Dare I say? Um, they. Late, late game slime rancher. They only take yeah, late game slime rancher. Um, they only eat one type of food, which is admittedly their favorite. But they only eat the one type of food. But then also, you can't farm that food. So. If you try to put and they can fly. So if you try to like capture them, they'll eventually just get pissed off that you're not feeding them because it's like impossible to feed them. Yeah. Um and then they'll just break out the roof. Even if you put a roof on, they'll eventually break the roof and then fly away. And I was just like, what the fuck? Yeah. I don't have chicken to feed you? Can I get chicken to feed you? Not easily, nor do I care that much anyhow. Jesus Christ, it's Jason Jesus Born. Christ, it's Jason Born. I can find no one who's two months to press the love that. I, I love this, please? What the hell? This wasn't this hard to find the first time I came through here. I don't like a really not I guess, admittedly, not in this area, in the other area, but. Also, a beautiful game. Oh, yeah. Uh oh. That was really sad. Uh, there's like little logs of someone who's like been here before you kind of thing. Um, 
and in one of them he like is sitting there just like overlooking some shit yada yada and then at the end of it he just goes i really wish i had a dog right now and i was like oh wow <laughs> okay <laughs> that's like sad <laughs> Yeah, please, please don't say that. Ooh, another cargo pod. I don't know what I do. This game also has the. Do you remember the collectibles on. Um. Fuck, hold on. I need to remember what the name of this was. Trailmakers? Do you remember the collectibles on Trailmakers? I do not. Okay. Well, they were like little like pods that you could like find. It basically just like a normal collectible, and you go around, and you gotta find it. Um, but then it like unlocked stuff for you, right? So like it unlocked like different parts for you to use for your oh, plane yeah. and shit like that. Yeah. Um, this game took a similar route, um, where it's like there are random like cargo pods all over the map. Yeah, I just um, got that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And as you find them, you'll unlock certain things. You know, some things will allow you to get different upgrades. Some things are like for base customization, which I don't really give a shit about, but like, it's pretty cool. It makes me like actually want to get all the collectibles. <laughs> oh, so they get like stuff running out of their mouths when they're hungry? I believe so. So that's the first step. And then after that, if they're still like hungry, um, they'll start getting agitated and pissed off. Admittedly, none on my farm have ever gotten to that level, so I don't know, like, how true that even is. But yeah, yeah, they'll, like, let you know when they're hungry. And then apparently, so, like, this guy, these Largos that have, like, red shit coming out of their heads, these guys yeah. are pissed off because they're that hungry, if that makes sense. Yeah, because I came back to my farm, a lot of them were... Yeah, drooling. <laughs> hungry and then uh they all started hopping out all my pink slimes was yes out. yeah so yeah i guess that that's what agitated is is they'll start trying to escape basically because they're not getting fit i didn't realize how much you guys needed to fucking eat <laughs> so it, it is expensive but once you get to that point you can start um feeding them with like an auto feeder so when you do have your, you know, carrot farm or whatever, you just throw all the carrots into the auto feeder and then it'll feed them. Okay. Yeah. And as long as you have only like 10 Literally. of each type, then you can actually have it set to the slowest feeding setting and they'll still okay. be good to go. At this point, I just need a farm. Oh, yeah, that's what you just need money. Yeah, a farm and money are, are my best recommendations to you. Whatever, whatever you can do to make money, do that and then keep doing that. And then, um, yeah. And then you can try and like automate some shit for you so that when you come back, you can go like after exploring and taking a trip out, you can come back and collect all of the, um, the plorts that were picked up while you were gone. I think it's enough lava dust, so I don't think I have to want more, but... Take the silky sand. There's gotta be more to these islands. Mm -hmm. That yeah, sounds good. Best one I hope you have to find the stream.
Ooh, if I can get on top of that waterfall. Oh, I've been on top of that waterfall. That's what the puddles are. Oh, but there's more lava dust up there. Or slime? I don't remember what. I'm down to find out. Diamonds. Damn. Don't mind if I do. With three strange diamonds. Oh my goodness. We are out here, yo. Yeah, the Tommy. Nope. Fine, take you up on that offer. I probably could just go back at this point. The long way home. Were you able to keep those phosphorus slimes? Uh, so I've got them in my inventory still because okay. I don't have like food for them yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you still have that cube area or no? Yes, yeah, so it's built up and everything. Oh, sick. Sick, 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 sick. Because then, you su cause then they're not even in your inventory, they're just stopping you from sucking. Yeah, it's like, stop. I need to do this. I need to suck.
carrot growing time. Hell yeah, bro. And you can upgrade the farms too, to like output more shit faster. That'd be good. Uh huh. Uh huh. It is. Because I will leave that. It's not too expensive either. I can just do this, can't I? Yeah. Sick, so that'll do so I can pick out all the other the brine and the jelly stone that I've been running past over here. Is it bad I kinda wanna start a new world? Huh? Already. Already, dude. I probably put I put a pretty gross number of hours into this already. It's probably 24 hours. Into this already. Love it. Game's good, man. The vibe, the hot vibe, dude. Hot vibe. What's over here? That was the brand I picked up like five seconds ago. I love that. Alright. So, I got the baddies. Got the KVs. Now I can. Yeah, dash boots too. Alright. I have every available. Up, er, every upgrade currently available to me. I'll eventually be able to get one more power core. One more tank booster and two more tank guards. Between two locations of your choosing. That's sick. Oh, do I have every decoration? Oh god, where do these stars come from? Oh no! Get out of here!
valley. The towers are getting to it. There is this huge like area I was just using for like not having to build a farm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the towers are killing me. Oh, that's not good. Yes, they will fuck you up. I was like, I seem to be taking damage. I was. In fact, taking damage. God, where are you guys coming from? No! What is happening? Fred's like a wildfire. Oh my god! There's, they will remember this day. At least I don't have to worry about any more of them. Oh, nope, one of them just spawned. There's more that can turn into cars. That's... Uh -oh. Okay, I think... I'm staying ahead of it now. Uh... I say as I actively have not been staying ahead of it. Or else we wouldn't be having this issue. You guys just bobbed and weaved around me just then. Kind of rude. Bite me, ass. Fuck him up, Aaron. Don't you dare bite me. Oh, I need to get some pork for that. But that was what you were talking about, because I fed one of the big Yes. Mega plorts. Yeah. Mega like phosphorus mega plorts. Yeah. And I think that's what created the tar epidemic. Yes. Yeah, so if so so a big one is always a merge of two. So if it's like a pink cotton, right? Then if it eats a phosphorus plort and tries to become a third, it will not. It will just turn into a tar and that's shit will break. Really loose. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's a real problem. This is like a farm I didn't need to build out here. There's so many of them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because if you keep them alive out there, then you don't even need to, like, farm them. Because, yeah. yeah. And there was, like, food growing there. <laughs> I think nature will rebuild. But... Nature should. Nature should rebuild, but it shouldn't have to, you at know? What, at what cost? At what cost? <laughs> um. What has happened? 
second tier. How long have you gone on shit? That's our oh fuck, I found you. No, you fucking don't. No, you do not. Not in this house. Found you. Wow, that, okay, that was that was quick reaction right there, man. I shut that down. <laughs> no me. That was like how America handled the pandemic. Is that what the, the port market has been telling you, Aaron? Uh, it's just the ones that I never get, and they seem to make a lot of money, so yeah, I yeah. haven't been getting them. Alright, I'm gonna trust you for a second. Actually, I can really explore out here too. Honestly. A little tabby slime. What are you? Yeah, they're like a little cat. They eat meat. So they're the ones that eat chickens. So if you do want to capture them, which you could, um, then you would want a coop to farm chickens and you'll have to have at least a rooster and at least a hen and then they'll start fucking and then they'll make money for you or i guess food for you so you can make money yeah money now they're spawning everywhere so i clearly got like enough time in the game yeah they, they spawn in areas so if you go back to that area again then you'll get those Tabby port, those tabby oh, slimes again. So, Luke, is there a reason you're not big on Slime Rancher 2? Bucky Wucky fixed. Good. Good, 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 good. Now there's the rest of the Fucky Wucky that has created me. That, that is Luke. A Lego set to build. That's fair. But you also oh, have a, a, lot of, a slime oh, to ranch. No. I left a lot of ports here. Did a big guy accidentally like eat them? Oh, that could That's happen. That it. That could, it could happen. I was wondering. I was like, I didn't even like come over to this area. Okay, I'm gonna get out of here before more bad shit happens over here. Take it out of the render range. Yeah. Okay, so I gave up on my phosphor slime attempt at the moment. Okay. And you're doing tabbies instead? Well, they spawn every night, so I'm just gonna go That's fair. Them. That's fair. The coming night to make room in my inventory to drop off a shit ton of floors. That is fair. To work on my farming game. So my farming game is behind. Did you fuckers eat all the fruit? Oh, the, oh no, it just dropped. Okay, you guys are all eating the fruit that dropped off of that. Okay, yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> Do you just have them roaming around your house? Well, they all escaped and I just didn't bother to put it back. That's valid. All right, I'll let it, I'll let it slide. Just this once. Also, you guys need to stop just eating fruit that falls on the ground because then you're gonna eat a plort and I'm gonna be upset. Exactly, that's why you gotta keep them in the corrals, dude. Hey, what did I just fucking say? <laughs> Looked over and my carrots had finally finished growing, and of course they've all like migrated over. My carrots had finished They're growing. They're like, ooh, carrots. <laughs> just fucking say. <laughs> This is going well. There we go. I got all the carrots off the ground. Okay. And more importantly, all the plorts that they just shit out. <laughs> so they don't kill themselves. Do you ever think you'd just be picking up after slime poops? I did that. <laughs> okay, we're gonna buy some, uh. Just... We're gonna buy 
sprinkler. Oh, that's 500. Oh shit, that's good. Makes it grow twice as fast though, I think. Unless it's the other one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, twice as fast as the one I care about. Yeah, it should be. You are so correct. Whatever just came out, I don't even know if it was the max, but it was more than enough. Yeah, I don't think it was, but I also agree, yeah, that it is probably more than enough. Especially, like, early game. Especially when, like, you don't have to, like, feed them, feed them, right? Like... Yeah. You know, like, you can feed them as you desire, so just, like... It doesn't necessarily matter if each harvest is good. If you can get twice as many harvests, that's very much worth it. Um, I don't know what to do with the last one left with you, but I guess I have an incinerator on the other side that I could fuck around with. Else just... Definitely have. I don't see any cargo pods, but I also don't believe that. Yep, cleaning up my farm now. I'm getting rid of all the ones that were just wandering wildly. <laughs> It only happened because I just had too many and they escaped out their wall. Yeah, 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 yeah. They start bouncing off each other and stuff. Exactly. Helping like, each other break free. I didn't even have that many. I just didn't know what I was doing at the time. Mm hmm. Now, getting rid of the big guys is annoying. Because it's, it's a one at a time approach. Mm hmm. It is the cave guys that I have down there. Even the rock guys are in the cave. It's funny. Yeah, that's why that's why I don't farm the big guys. I could. And I'm sure I would like make more money out of it, but also, yeah. They just give me two for the price of fun. They do. They do. But I kinda like everyone having their own home, you know? Sure. I bet you made a lot of money off of making them happy. Exactly. No one's wandering. Especially with the tar out, like, Have you had a tar ape outbreak on your ranch? No, not yet. Okay, phew. No, that's all been in the field because I would go out and I was feeding a shit ton of them at once. Yeah, and yeah. And I would get a bunch of plorks out there, but then I didn't have this passing, like, pick up some of them. Yeah, so then they would all just, like, go to hell. <laughs> and then die. Oh, I should have thrown the moon dude. Like, there's the way. Oopsies. Now my goal is to go out and continue to find, like, new foods. Or, like, actually, to get a, a coop. Yeah. Co-op. Yeah, co-op. You and the chickens against the world. Exactly. <laughs> I know it's, it's not against the world. <laughs> 
The rest of the world doesn't want them to die. I do. Yeah, little do they know that it's them and the rest of the world against you. Exactly. <laughs> What's up, Santino? Yeah. Fucky Wucky really fixed. Like to hear that. Is I found another fucky wall fixing the first one. I love that. I'm just missing a little piece. Okay, 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 okay. I mean that they're like somewhat motivated, but not too far. Who's really gotta hit him right in the fucking face? Yeah. 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 I liked when Legos were easy. <laughs> Not anymore, dude. You gotta, like, read those instructions. <laughs> so she wanted to do my history essay? Yikes! That bad! It wasn't that bad. I had a fucking blast the entire time, but... And again, I also like just enjoy it. I love Fearless Way. I love just setting up, like, furniture off. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's alright. It's, it's not as bad design. as a lot of people make it out to be. I'll give it that. It's all, like, to me it also comes down to if it's a good design. Yeah, yeah. If it's well designed and goes together well, and I don't have to just, like, bash pieces until they fit. Yeah. Then I'm having a good time. Yeah. But if it's a, if it's poorly designed, I'm like, then I'm actually... <laughs> Okay, so then I'm also. So then, like a lot of people who just might just be dumb, and the instructions might actually be clear, just not to them. Yeah. This is my job. There is I know that. The instructions are clear. <laughs> okay, that was a lot of floor, so like I really gotta get these things out of here. Okay, so I still have like a mobile. What is this? A refiner. Yes, um... Is that worth anything? Do I do anything with that? Wait, so wait, what is it? Refinery. So, and it's like out in the wild. Is is it... Yeah. Here, let me actually pull up the map. Is it like right here on the map? Yeah, I think so. Okay, yeah, yeah so... Do I do anything with that? Or you can, can whatever, it, it connects to your refinery at home. So if you want to throw it into your refiner when you get back, you can instead do it while you're out, out there. Because it shows that I've got like, because I dropped off two uh, just pink plorts in there, and it shows they're still in there. So if you're telling me if I go home... If you go home, it'll show those two pink plorts. Yes. Oh, cool. Yes, they're connected. And you will eventually be able to research a technology that allows you to make, like, another one of those effectively, and place it out in the wild if, you know, you cool. get... Yeah. Yeah, can I withdraw one. like it's a bank? You cannot withdraw, but that's also because you can't withdraw from your refinery at all. Yeah, okay, so I shouldn't just use it as like a mobile bank. Okay. Correct. But it is, in a sense, a mobile bank for upgrades, if that makes sense. Like, if you were going to be using that resource for yeah, an upgrade anyway. Um, so, for example, the little pink, like, balls that are sitting on some rocks that you see, you can actually suck those up, and they are jellystone. And I that can, is yeah, you the upgrade. Like, yes, and those, those will only ever be used for upgrades. So, like, yeah, you could just kind of toss those in there. Yeah, but since I've got, like, 20 yellow Yeah, yeah, because you'll probably eventually need some... Early game, I wouldn't do it with a ton, because you will just need... flirts to make money. Yes, yeah, um, so but right now, I literally would have to do, like, ten runs back up and... Forth yeah, exactly, exactly, ground, exactly. Just gonna make more tar. Exactly, so if you were gonna leave it anyway, then it's yes. not bad. There's the little kitty one. Yeah, there you go. That's gonna be for your cotton ones. Yes. Although they like the big ones will eat carrots, so if you get the big, they'll eat a carrot. They'll eat whatever of that type. Right? So if they like veggies, they'll eat any veggie. But to get two of a type, you gotta do the you gotta do the favorite, yeah. 
Now what you could do is you could merge the cotton ones with the phosphorus ones. I don't know if they'll still be light sensitive. I'll assume they will be. Um, yeah, but they you can. Are, they get big. They get big and. Yeah, so you can merge a phosphorus one with a cotton one, um, and it would it'll like either cuberries or water lettuce. Either one will give it like double, if that makes sense. So if you feed it a water lettuce, a, a, a big one that's uh, a cotton and a phosphorus, if you feed it a water lettuce, it'll give you two phosphorus and two cotton. Or if you feed it a um, Q-berry, it'll give you two phosphorus and two cotton. Oh, fucker. So that's how you make a shit ton of money. God damn it. Apparently there's a plort on the ground somewhere. Oh, and there's the tars. The tars are, especially in the wild, in your farm, I haven't had a tar yet in my farm. But yeah, it, it in the wild, they're pretty unavoidable. Oh, work. There's a deep brine out here. Of you because I will take that. Oh shit. Hello, Tar. What the fuck? Oh shit, I just. Oh, whatever. Back where I started the day at? Love that. Love that. Hour and a half in. Love that. There's, there has got to be a cargo pod in one of these areas, right? And it just doesn't fucking look like there is. Also, parkouring is solidly easy in this game, especially once you get the jetpack. So you can reach some really, like, solid places with it. Sometimes, like, uh, on purpose and as a necessity if you're going for, like, 100%, but also just sometimes to, like, get over something and <laughs> get around. <laughs> does the uh, Black Ops Zombies uh, loot box, uh, mystery box, like beak into the sky. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> For your house. I wonder where my crew is, and I looked to the sky, and I was like, oh, there it is. <laughs> Ooh, 
<laughs> loot box zombies peek into the sky. Makes it very easy to find. I don't know where these fucking tar guys came from. Uh, I don't know exactly where they came from, actually, but. Do I just get on top of the. Uh... No, there's just nothing. I just got on top of the base and there's nothing, and I'm kind of sad about it, I'm not gonna lie. I really was hoping there was a cargo pod. Yeah, yeah, I mean, there would have to be. There would have like, to be, right? Like. Big bits. Clearly, it's possible. Like, I just didn't take that long and was able to get it. So, like, yeah. In fact, no discoverable up there. Yeah. Pointless. Pretty, pretty sad about that. Not gonna lie. I would be too. All right. I'm admittedly at the point where if I'm like farming my farm it is just for cleanup's sake because i just don't need the money from the ports anymore you've already built out as much as you want i've got seventy thousand coins right now I'm at 200. we're building though yeah. oh here we go tell me this gives me That's something because you say you already like automated everything yeah I've, i literally have like one of every type of thing. Oh, a market link. Oh, that's fun. So remember how I was telling you about the refinery link where it's like you can put stuff in your refiner from afar. Um, I just got the technology for a market link so I can if I build it somewhere, I'll be able to just like drop shit off and sell it, which I'm just going to do at a different part of my farm, if I'm being honest with you. Special snail captures a gordo slime. Bait it in with food and wait. Huh. Interesting. Oh, and I can do that pretty quickly too. It's all gonna be important right here for price data. Yeah. Oh, interesting, but it won't give me prices unless I go... Interesting. Yeah, so I'll probably put this in the middle of that other side. Some deep run. There's some over there too. Probably some on the right side, isn't there? There's some here last time. Right there. Come across a super fat slime yet? No, I think so. okay. They don't move, they just sit still. Um I guess you'll know when you come across one. Uh, yeah, hen hen and a rooster, but yeah, chicken. 
a genuine answer. Peace, love, peace, love. What I would recommend, if you can, is get a stony hen and a rooster, because the stony hen is the favorite of the tabbies. Which I presume is what you're trying to get a coop for. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So a stony hen and a rooster would be would give you double the plorts basically per hen. That's a hen hen. So you're saying stony hen. Yeah, they're they're as much harder to find as the cuberries and the water lettuces were to find. Okay. Yeah, the water lettuces were just hard to find because they don't look like anything. Yeah. Fair. Fair. I just accidentally grabbed a bunch of water lettuce one time. Yeah. But like all, most of like the favorites of all like like so hen hens, cactuses, and pogo fruits are all like the generic ones. The generic meat, generic veggie, and generic fruit. Any other fruit and any other vegetable and any other meat will be like something's favorite. Right? So the water lettuce is the favorite of the cottons, the um, Cuberries is the favorite of the phosphorus, and the the stony hens are the favorite of the uh, bees. So. I wish I could save some of that water lettuce. I, mean, I don't really wish I had. Yeah. Okay, that's a front suspension on axle done. Basically, literally every other car part to go. Little mouse. Okay, I actually got a stony hen. That's good. Hell yeah. I was expecting stony that to take longer than it did. Well, I accidentally thought I was getting a rooster out and grab the stone with it. Ah, so that was there you go. <laughs> um, yeah, I have done precisely zero research. Um, but the best that I found is once you get there is to have four roostros and four of whatever hen type you want. Um, and that's the fastest way for them to just start popping them out. Keep kind of breeding them until I get to that level. Yeah, that, that again, I've done literally zero research, but that was just where I've that's like, secret. that's what I keep coming back to basically. Yeah. Is as long as the coop has that much in it, then it, the coop is good to go. That's what there would be. The cooperative Our is good lettuce. to go. Lettuce down here, they're not. I do need that still. I technically have the space in my inventory for it. Okay. I must spawn in the water, which is cool. I guess the water lettuces really aren't that hard to find. I, I'm like, I'm looking now, and it's like across a couple different water lettuce farms. Yeah. Or spawns. I thought I had four. But now that I'm actually like looking for them. So you're both head head. <laughs> A gold port! Hell yeah. Get rich or die sliming. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. That is what we're here for. Get rich or die sliming. I've seen a ton of, uh... For some reason, I've seen a ton of just hen hens. No, yeah, because no hen hens are the carrots of meat. Yeah, the shrimp of the sea. Oh, hello. Sure. Yeah, I was going to take back this guy, but I just found a cute berry bush. <laughs> so all these small small just gonna dump it out. Sorry, you're gonna make right Yeah, because we're we're now. making a cute berry farm and we're making a water lettuce farm first. Yeah, that's... And that's foremost. really need. Some of that water lettuce that... Where it is. I remember seeing it. I remember farming it. 
you about so, your ass of water lettuce, though. You know, I said, and mine is slow. Come with me. Yeah, just make sure you have the seed in your inventory. Okay, where is some of that? <sighs> Lechuga del Diablo. What? Devil's lettuce. <laughs> oh, found it. This little fucker was sitting right on top of it. God, it really blends in. No, don't eat it. Don't eat that. Ass. How dare you? <laughs> right, got everything I need. Got everything I need to go farming. How dare you? How fucking dare you? Alright, do I have anyone else to feed? I do have this guy to feed. I could go back to him. I yeah. can really use another rooster out. Not to get him, though. A lot of head heads. A lot of head heads you're finding? Yeah, roosters are more rare. It's as far as I can tell, it's like one in four. Oh god. And that is true eye even eye. when they're breeding. Like one in four of your eggs will turn into a rooster. Interesting. Yeah, no, not the uh, ratio I'm seeing so far on my island. Okay. Uh, I can see it being worse than that, but you know. I've seen one rooster and I've seen about 20 head head. <laughs> And I took the one rooster, so I've just decimated the local population. <laughs> he was in. Never he to was reproduce again. He was, he was in, dude. He was carrying the lake. <laughs> and now he's gone. And now he's gone. Our last fe There goes our last female. God, isn't that the Dennis from Yeah, from Ice Age. Yeah. Yeah, it is. There goes our last female. Got a garden going here. This one we're gonna do. Water lettuce growing. I'd love to see it. I'm gonna hold on to these cube berries for now. Because I don't have another crop yet. So, Let's see it being worse than one before. I've got my farms here. Uh. Am I get, do I have the ability to buy more, like, plots elsewhere? Because I've only yes. got one more open plot. Yeah, so you have, so you start with the, like, seven or eight or something, and then it's 1,800 to buy another uh, plot that'll give you access to five more. Oh, um, okay, well, that's not too bad. Yeah, so, in, so it's 1,800 for five more, and you can do that three times, and then it'll be 3,500 for the last five more. So you can get up to 20 more. Okay. I'm kind of okay with you guys turning the tar. I'm not okay. Because I'm coming to pick a fruit, and you are the kind of guys that will eat that fruit. And I don't want you to do that. Stop escaping. Stop escaping. Stop escaping. Go back in your cage. I love the scared face that the slimes put on when there's a tar right in front of them. Oh my god, yeah, it's so funny. With the huge bright eyes. Fucking these berries, man. Moon dew nectars. And suck my ass.
Why did I just fear? Anybody? Bless you. Bless you. Yeah, I'll clear out this pad. It just looks like that's gonna be the cat ones, dude. Oh, the, uh, the really fat ones will look like this. Oh, whoa. And, and they'll just be, like, stuck on the ground. But if you feed them what their diet is, they'll eventually fill up and burst. And then, first off, a bunch of that type of um, slime will come out, like 13 of them or something. So basically, if you needed that slime, be ready to pick them up and take them home. Um, but then also, it'll open up like access to something, basically. Either like a geyser that'll shoot you up into the air, or directly into a cave, or a portal, or something. So. Yeah. All right. Good to know. It usually takes, I want to say, thirty, like generic food to fill one up. But if you feed it its favorite, it'll take less than that because it'll fill up on its favorite. Dude, I literally just want to do nectar. I'm literally so annoyed of sitting around and waiting for it. I'm just gonna Google Slime Rancher to Moon Dew Nectar. Because what the fuck? Wait, I guess I can. only spawns at night? Oh, fuck. That adds up. Oh, shit. Not my face. Get fucking sniped, slime. I need to wait fucking 10 plus minutes before it becomes nighttime and I can get Moon Dew Net Air. Go to sleep in your house. Shit, you're right. Aaron, you're right. Yeah. I found that out on accident because I was just exploring my house and said, I like to go to sleep. Yeah, why not? I literally haven't used that feature. It's a word. I was wondering yeah. why this shit spawns so fucking slowly. I was like, dude, this takes forever to spawn. And apparently, because, like, a uh, fruit that's just, like, sitting on the ground can die. Like, it yeah. can rot there. And, like, I'll find it rotted on the ground, and it won't have spawned another yet. And I'm like, bro, how, like, how has it been on the ground for so long? And it still hasn't spawned another one yet. And that's because it only comes at nighttime. Yep. Cool. Fucking sick, dog. Alright, well, I presume it's gonna take, like, in-game hour for me to get back, so... I just need to sleep until... Uh, six hours. Actually, I could just do sleep until nighttime, and that'll only be five hours, and that'll be better. Actually, I could just farm until then. And that would also not be a bad idea. Oh, 
Oh, do I have any elders that I need to pick up? I do. The roof's row. The elder hens. So now let's get the floor out. Alright, 
So that, okay, so then let's go. Yeah, let's just sprint out. Man. Didn't realize how fast night goes by. You only get like five minutes a night. So they're still growing, so that's admittedly fair. But, like, some of you aren't. But what the fuck is up with that, yeah? I'm just gonna keep doing laps. Until I see anything going. So I kind of just want to like people off the side here so that they have no chance of being able to do that character. But... So it's definitely nighttime. Uh -oh. Oh. Oh, are you shitting me? Yeah, well, there was one. Oh, it went bad. It means it's been there since, like, the last time I was here. I just don't believe it. That's fine. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god, dude. How's your slime farming going, Aaron? Uh, you know, pretty good. Okay. Mike's a little soft, sorry. Yeah. I think I'm really getting things together finally. Okay. What kind of what kind of farms you got? What kind of she got right now? Uh, so I've got a uh, tabby, phosphor, Word. and then a combo of pink and cotton. Okay. So it's a but they merge together. Sure, sure, sure. How many do you have of those, of the fat ones? Like, seven. Okay. Word. I can fuck with that. Yeah. You used to call me on my hey yo, Evac, thank you for the follow, welcome to the fam. What is up, dude? We are just ranching some slimes out here, yo. Nothing Not more, nothing less. So that they actually grow fast. <laughs> Talking about getting upgrades for your farm. Mm. Yeah, I do, man. Too bad you can't farm Moondew Network Nectar, so I'm literally just running around all my airy night. Uh, I don't have chickens, and frankly, I don't really care to go find them right now. You're about to spawn. Yeah. Uh, Alright, that should honestly be enough, but I'm just gonna like that kind of like a lot. Yeah, well, I, actually, so if you merge it with something that doesn't require meat, then you can feed it whatever the other thing is and not have to have a chicken farm. Exactly. That's... I did it with... One of them is actually merged with cotton. Yeah, yeah. Pretty good for exactly that reason. Yeah, yeah. Because um, you're going to have water lettuce galore, so... Exactly. Okay. Googling this and realizing that it only comes at night is pretty crap. 
this has become a lot fucking easier to farm. Still annoying as shit. But... A couple of my tabbies have gotten out and almost tried to hunt down the chicken. Oh no! That does sound like something they would do, though. I, you know, yeah, I shouldn't be too surprised. That, they got that dead on in the game. <laughs> They need a dog slime. Oh, they really- oh, the- the phosphors really like the cube berries. Oh, yeah. Phosphors fuck with the cube berries, dude. That's good to know. Maybe I can help you out with your custom graphics for your channel? I'm good, man. You good? I already got a friend of mine does the, uh, you know, logo and all that, so. Best of luck. As a result, I might. It is really funny. The tabbies will grab something and hold on to it. <laughs> so, like, I accidentally shot an apple in there, and okay. it's just holding on to the apple. So, I actually could just get. I'll tell you. Alright, we're going in. I don't know what the fuck this is. We're going in, and that's up the bag. All right, well, I opened up what I think is the last... Yeah, I opened up what I think is the last, like, part of the map. But if this turns into, like, more than just this, I'm gonna lose my shit. It's what the fuck. Travel the Starlight Strand. Fuck yeah. That is what we are here for. Is there another? Yeah. supposed to just run out this way, which is just out the way you came. Well, okay, other than eight. Okay. Well, then that's every- so, hold on, okay, hold on, hold on. I was talking about that breach up there, where the fat guy was. Let me see if that's changed at all. I don't imagine it has. It does not. Interesting. Can you type in your Discord here? Uh, I can send my portfolio there. Uh, sure. Uh, just ask me which point Discord, I guess, if you want to hop in. Um, but again, I'm, I'm good. And I'm... I guess just post it in, like, the other streams chat or something. Alright, well 
now that it's almost daytime, I should do one more pass for all the different moon dude networks. Did admittedly just pick these up, so. Wait, what did you just eat? Oh, okay. that was cute. Phew. Would be pissed. Um, and I've explored this. Was it really just that? It was. <laughs> night before, so that was pretty good. That's what you like to see. Yeah, just a lot of stuff had like spawn. Like a lot of plorts had come out overnight. Ah, nah. But I was so busy gathering like food and the phosphors that I couldn't grab yeah. that stuff. What did I just see? Oh, okay, see a tar. It's daytime. Oh no, there are a few more spawns over here. Let me check them. Be spawned. I'm just gonna have to literally sleep like a whole new day. Which is because you need something at night. Yeah. And it's like the only thing I have left in this game to do. Well, actually. So I don't even kind of have this to do anymore. I wonder if I can... Well, you guys are angry. Why are you so angry? Be happier. Well, in that case, let me put it that way. Don't be so angry. Be happy. No. Be happy. I guess where I went did have like the skull and crossbones in front of it. <laughs> so I was like, that's probably. Just oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That does happen, yes. There's a bunch of like little angry guys there. Kind of weird. The skull and crossbones. <laughs> Is engine building time? Hell yeah, dude. Luke out here building car engines. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> Special archive key for the drive. Drone archive key? What the fuck?
Utilizes Biles Tech decryption algorithms to unlock access to archive logs. Interesting. I literally just did like the last thing that I had to do in this game, and I think it just unlocked like a whole new thing of things that I need to do. Hell yeah. Which I'm cool with. I'm pretty fucking cool with that. Um, I need some lava dust. So, I'm gonna go into the cave. Try this one. Actually, no. Let me let me sleep till nighttime. Yeah, yeah. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna sleep until night, and then I'm gonna try. Oh fuck! I should probably farm all the chickens that are now way overdue for farming because I just slept the entire day. It's really annoying. That's really, really pretty frustrating, I'm not gonna lie. Store the yeah, can't store you guys, so fuck off. I don't feel like feeding you every day. chickens and they are just going off in voice chat <laughs> I don't think there will be any old guys, but hey, you don't know. Apparently. fucking sea chicken, dude. Oh, my lanta. Just 
picked up 40 of them and I still have a shit ton left. Put it in, can you? Oh, that's just great. You feed twice as fast. But I'm gonna actually need more hunters. I only have six, yes, yeah, so I'm gonna need four more hunters. But that's kinda annoying. Alright, 
Well, let's go... Oh, there's actually a couple over here, so I can... Oh, but I need the fucking lava dust. God damn it. Big guy literally will not even eat. Uh, Wait, what? Fruit thing is veggies. That's Fruits are different from veggies. Yes. Yeah, I didn't even realize. I didn't realize he wouldn't even eat it. He's like, nah. He only eats veggies. <laughs> yeah, that, that ain't it. Which one is it? Uh, the yellow guy. Okay. Yeah, so it's the cotton guy. So his yeah. favorite is also water lettuce. So if you bring him water lettuce, it'll take less to fill him up, basically. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Dude, I'm dealing with a tar outbreak in the field here. Let's... I don't remember. 
I'm gonna either read at least one, probably two over here, so I'm gonna try and... No, fuck, I need lava dust. God damn it, Spencer. You're acting like you know how to do things. and Luke did a three-way trade on fantasy football, so I've got yeah. Trevor Lawrence as my quarterback now, dude. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's a pretty fucking that's pump instead of fucking Matt Ryan, man. Yeah, Matt. Yeah. That wasn't playing well. Yeah, there wasn't, there wasn't really much going on there other than fumbles, so... Yeah, Matt has played better in his career. He has. He has had better times. Better three-game stretches. I haven't watched any of his games. There have has the Colts yeah, once, once they once bad. they cut Hot Rod, it was like, what's even the point? What's even the point? <laughs> um, is there a line that bad? I don't know, dude. I don't know. I haven't really watched their games either. I've just been like, I've been like, Matt. I, so there are certain players and certain teams that I only really know about from a fantasy perspective. So like, obviously, I know the Niners just overall. But like the Colts and Matt Ryan, I really only know about from a fantasy perspective, which, as far as I can tell, is the answer to that question. Is yes, their O line is that bad. But again, that's just from what I see, Matt Ryan doing or rather failing to do. Yeah, fair. Leave, eat this. I'm trying to feed you water lettuce. <laughs> eat it. There we oh, go. Shit. Look at this. That's so funny. Alright, well, that works. I thought I had like 20 something, but I'll take 18. I'll do. First of the big guys. Hell yeah. What did he unlock for you? A little like bridge area looks like. Oh. A little tar guys here. I just don't care. I'm like, really just don't care. This is not lava dust. I don't know if it's lava dust. I know. Oh, it's like a little no teleporter. Way. Yes, the big beaming light in the sky. Yeah. Yep, teleporter. So it can take you to, I don't know which of the two lands, but basically there's two, like, more sections of the map, and they each have their own, like, types of slimes. So there's one that I'm actually in right now that has a bunch of, like, fire slimes, boom slimes, cave slimes, stuff like that. And there's a different section that will have more... Um, like flutter slimes, uh, cool. honey slimes. While I'm out, I really need to pick up more roosters this time. Yeah. Can't be waiting for him to pop out more roosters. Rock slime. Get there you here. go. You're getting farmed. <laughs> You're coming with me. The rock slime favorites the, the heartbeat. So if you come across a heartbeat, it's just a beat shaped like a heart because this game's creative. <laughs> but it looks like they'll just eat any veggie. They'll eat any veggie, yeah, but their favorites are heartbeats. Yeah. Oh no, oh that was oil. Oh fuck, I thought that was gonna be lava dust. Uh. You're just carrying the lane. Really need more lava dust, guys. Work with me here. Give me some lava dust. Don't ask, 
Ask me but what honestly, I want to merge the breeding because I have like a pink and cotton one that's all just pink and cotton. Yeah, and, like, yeah. Kind of don't care about either of those anymore. That's fair. Because I can get those everywhere. That is fair. No sense really running that. Wait, and they're also like great. the cheapest. But so it's, it's not yeah. bad to have them and farm them as you get the opportunity. But like, yeah, what I'm going to do is just bring back a pink guy again, but breed him with the rock guy. So that way the rock guy eats anything. So that's the upside to breeding a pink with something is that a pink eats everything. So if you breed eats it with everything. something, it eats everything. Exactly. And it gives you the other upside to breeding is you get two of everything. Yes. So yeah. You, you get two things every time you one pink and if it's a pink one one pink and one whatever yeah, else. exactly yeah. and that's why i don't really like to do pink like i would normally try to breed it with, yeah like, a exactly so one. that way it's actually doubly useful <laughs> oh shit what are you honey slime what up Come hell with yeah aaron finding some honeys out here medium I red can, i can milk you mind, but sure wait have i been up there Yes, that's okay. But I really need some beats. You do. You need heartbeats, man. I need some bears beats. Battlestar Galactica. Battlestar Galactica. You get it. You get it. Just find another cargo pod, which has me out. Although I'm not buying any okay. of this shit. Although, what are you little fucking honey guys like? Get you off. Honey's like. Uh, mint mangoes or mango mints or something. They're free. Yes, yes, free. Fair enough. Explains why I haven't seen either the heartbeat or yes. the. Yes, it's because you just mango. got to that section, so it's like it's gonna be like the heart. It's the it's the cubeberry of that area. It's the yeah, rare. Yeah, it's really fruit. funny because here I'm finding the cubeberries everywhere. Of the cubeberries. <laughs> yeah. yeah <exactly. laughs> Oh, what are you? Angler? Ooh. Yeah, you're coming. You're coming with me, baby. They like the meat, so they're the... Oh, fuck. So I definitely got to breed you guys with a pink. Probably. They like uh, sea chickens, sea hens, whatever the fuck they are. Um, you guys are going to get problem. So you actually, you might find some sea hens. Sea hens are pretty common from my experience. So you might actually find some while you're out. Okay, I really need to go back now, though, because I have so many of these fuckers. <laughs> so many inventory slots. Exactly right. So, it's time to leave. Okay. Great work, Depot. Set up two gadgets that light and really try to resources between two points. Hell yeah. Uh -huh. okay, um, I don't care about you. Love us. Oh yeah. Oh, you're a heartbeat. Come with me. There you go. But I don't have anywhere to grow you. Yeah. So you can hold on to it. You. What you actually could do is with one of your last plots, you can make a silo. Um, and that'll help you hold on to shit that you don't aren't quite ready for yet, or that you yeah, have but a shit ton of. But. How do I? I have ended up on the other side of what's... Oh, I have gone this way. Okay. Yeah, and I don't really feel like... Yeah, doing all that. That sounds like a lot. So let's just do... That. Oh, Aaron, you didn't hear the news, man. Mm -hmm. Luke joined chess club. At school? At school, yeah. That's sick. That is sick. I need to get really? later to join chess club at college. 
really interested to see how that goes for him. <laughs> Probably about as well as football. Yeah. Well, maybe his school takes that a little more, this a little more seriously. For some <laughs> he does go to a private school, so it sounds like something they would take more seriously. Exactly, hundred percent. Okay, just cleared out a pen for some of my new guys. Hell yeah. Yeah, see, that's another thing. Like this, to like save, I guess, money or something early game instead of buying those new five slots. You could just like merge your phosphorus and tabbies. Yeah, I just... and then there frees up a corral if you had them both in their own corral up until that point. Exactly. Oh. And then let's make that little device that I was able to make. What are you doing out here? Some research drones. Well, let's go talk to some drones, apparently. What do they do? Do they give me research modules or something? I don't even remember where all the drones are. Oh, there's one right back here. This is the first one. X. Oh! Discoveries are amazing. It's all too good to be true. Interesting. Okay. So, huh.
is there a point to it? Cause like I was cool with the other collectibles. With these yeah, oh. This is just giving fake time. Not much of a bad thing. Could go back to the base. go out here and check out these logs and see if there's anything. There's one. Suck its hand noodles again. Okay. Alright. So it doesn't sound like any of these will actually benefit me. They'll just kind of be funny little ones. Okay. I successfully merged the anglers and the rocks. Okay, word. One. And then the honey and the pink got merged into one okay okay just to yeah so I you don't have to get like mint mango because half anything. the flock accidentally ate pink <laughs> so you figured fuck it let's utilize this and i said i guess i guess that's just what you do now <laughs> Oh god. No! How did you turn into TARS? Oh, I know how. I know exactly how. Time to go get more honeys. Oh god, no! How'd you get the other pen? Oh, come on. I am so upset, dude.
I am so upset right now. <sighs> Wasn't meant to be yet. I can't actually do that. If I do that. It's got three defenders, and I'm not gonna have any attackers. What about? The... No, hell no. I mean, like, okay. So I really like tripled down on that. I could, but let's not. Oh, that just blundered upon. Good call. Um, sick. No more wandering the pond. Um. Uh, I can't get my. I can get the bishop here. I could really probably punish that. Hmm. Right, because he's gonna take back with the bishop, and then that's just gonna lose a pawn. Oh, I just hung the pawn. Whoops. Dude, I stay doing that. Holy shit. Oh my god. Alright, well, let's defend it. And then probably have to move the p knight back as soon as he kicks me. I've hung two pawns here already, and he hasn't taken either of them. Very nice of him. Very, very nice of him to do that. I imagine he is gonna trade. I'm just gonna bring my pawn back to connect, connecting itself to an island instead of isolating itself. And that still opens up f3 here for the bishop. Now it's not nearly as detrimental because he's pushed this pawn at this point, trying to kick my knight, but. Actually, it will be. If he trades. <laughs> Hold on, if I do this. Yeah. You could take the pawn. Not the point. I'm going to win the exchange. Really? 
You'd rather hang a knight than do the exchange? Oh, I see. So he's going to bring a, this rook over. If I take, he's going to go c8 and pressure these. No, I got it. I think he needs to go rook here. Is my best. No, 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 he needs to move green. Because I'll just get the rook at the end of it if that's what he does. And then I'm going to go bishop b7. Engine's built. I like that. How does it run? So if I. So I kind of want to get an attack on his king. With this bishop pointed over there. I kind of want to fuck around with that. But I need to save this bishop. Well, actually, I could move this knight. Huh. My queen's almost trapped. He's going to have to throw himself back into this corner. Let's do this move first. Interesting. All oh, my pieces working together out here. Absolutely working together. Just all active in the middle of the field. Bishop, light bishop going up and causing mayhem up on his side of the field too. He just, he can't activate his dark bishop. Actually he can, he can throw f6. He could do f6, well not really anymore because I'm pressuring his queen. But if he goes like queen h4, I would need to wait, watch out for that. I'll probably have to raise a rook and bring it over instead of biting on that pawn. By the way, he's in a tough spot. He's in a very tough spot. If he moves away, yeah, I'm probably going to raise a rook and bring it over. Because I can't move the queen. Unless he moves the queen away from the bishop because he's gonna have to move the queen away and if he moves it out of range of the um stops attacking that d4 bishop then i actually don't even need my queen to defend at all like that so i can instead i can move the queen away <laughs> not here that's just plunder a queen not here. I would blunder a queen. Um, huh. I don't really have a lot of good queen moves here. But I do want to connect my rooks. I'm going to go here. 
instead of taking the pawn. I think he's going to probably move his rook over and give up on the attack and just kick my bishop away. Well, but no, because kicking it away does nothing, because I want to move it away. I just want to move it into a pawn and take that on my way out. Um, and he's not going to be able to put it on a8. So... I don't, I don't really know what he's going to do. I mean, I think I, the pawn's falling either way, so I guess I don't need to rush to take it. Because that pawn is falling either way. Unless... No, yeah, that pawn's... Probably both of them, honestly. I don't know that there's much you could do. I mean, I guess rook b8 wouldn't be terrible, but honestly, with the activity of my dark bishop, I can just cause just as much mayhem on that back file. That back rank with, uh... Oh, that's fun. That's a fun move. Um... Obviously, I can't take... I can pressure his queen. Win a tempo there, and then use the tempo to take pawn. Okay, let's do that. And I got a bunch of time on it. Oh! Uh, nice. I respect it. I respect it. Um, except that. <laughs> you probably block with the bishop, and then you're also still losing the pawn. <laughs> but you could also just move the queen away. Oh, I'll block with the rook. I respect it. Um... Okay, this is where I can really get frisky. I'm gonna double up. Keep being really fucking annoying. He might double up, but it wouldn't be smart for him to double up. Because I do have two defense of the d1 square, and I have a hole for my king to escape out the back anyway. He does not, however. But I cannot force that checkmate. I mean, I can. Yeah, I think he just hung the bishop. Yeah. Because you can't. I mean, or you hung a rook. You can't take back and defend that bishop. And I think he's going to start making a couple more mistakes here. He was really worried about that pawn. And he actually almost had it defended, but... There's not enough. Not quite enough. Too little, too late. I really like the position I put myself in. I really like the position I put myself in. You playing well right now? Oh, yeah. Just every piece working together. Love that. Yeah, right now. My farm's doing pretty well. Pretty much every one of my plots with uh, slimes on it has like some form of like upgrade on yeah. it. Now. Uh, most of them have a fair amount. Like, I just got I'm trying to find out where I have to go next year to get back to the honeydews all died. <laughs> um, my fault, but <laughs> still dumb. Uh, how did the honeydews you know, die? Uh, yeah, I told you that uh, some of them were uh, cotton. Sure. Um, yeah, one of them, it turns out, had become a cat. Um, oh. And then the other ones yeah. were honey and pink. Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. I see. I see. And then it turns out even if you have high walls, the tar will escape. So. <laughs> and then they started to try to ravage everything. Love that. So that was all goodness. That was all good. All... That's, yeah. What That's you the reason want. we play. That's the reason we play Slime Rancher. So now I'm back to the area where I got the honeys, so I can do that again. Um, and hopefully this time not kill them through incompetence. Just sheer incompetence.
That's why they're dead. But the angler and rot guys are really fun because they spend half the time blinding each other and the other half running into each other. <laughs> that they do. <laughs> it's really fun. So that was the first one to get the auto feeder and collector. Yeah, yeah. Um, because going in there to feed and collect was a nightmare. I would imagine, yeah. And very unsafe. <laughs> it's a fun... Everyone gets along. Yeah, everyone's having a good time. Okay, got some more honeydew, guys. Get over here, honey slime. Honey slime, there we go. <laughs> I would put pressure back on this same fucking ball. Actually, uh, I am thinking about ditching. Oh, you're you're an angry guy. No, nope, you're an angry explosive guy. Oh, except he might double pressure oh, that bishop instead. Shit. I guess I would. I do just... need to figure out what to combine the honey slime with, though. Why would I worry about that? I guess it could be something. I guess it could just be pink. That'd be easy. But you're right, man. Having everything one small step away from becoming a tar. Yeah, is just living on the fucking edge, dude. dude it's on the edge, man. It's on the <laughs> edge. Like, I genuinely thought I was still taking care of everything. And then next thing. I uh, nope. Why? I'm under attack. I don't... Let's cut that out. Stop that. He could put me in check, but that gets really nowhere, and I'm 30 seconds. I think he's gonna be... unhappy with the result. Especially because, given how long it took for him to decide to do that, I don't imagine he has this move planned out either. <laughs> um... Uh, let's take you. I don't really know your goal here. I would say it wouldn't be too expensive to throw a solar shield on them and make them phosphors. The only problem is that they try to fly away. I don't want that. Where are you going? Oh. Uh. If I just do that, am I going to be disappointed? Probably not, right? And he's... Oh, he played a move. Good for him. If I could just... Bend. Shit, I'm actually... There we go. There we go. He won on time! I was plus 11, so I didn't need to win on time. <laughs> but I did. What the fuck is a hunter, Largo? Ooh, not a bad one to go ahead and have. Um, so okay, hunter gotta... slimes are pretty hard to come across, but also they're invisible. <laughs> uh, but if I, since I captured him, he'll give me a hunter thing and I can breed or, him with something else. And you can breed it with something else, or you can just take that as is, right? It's probably bred between two things already, the hunter and something it else. Is. Yeah. It's a... So you could breed Caught. it with a pink one to, like, have it be whatever, eat everything or something. Yeah, true. But I mainly I was looking for the thing to breed the pink the honey guys with, and I think this is it. Oh, okay, work. I can get behind that. Cause I, I everything else is bred off except the cotton and pink, but that's because I could walk out my doorstep and find They will, however, not eat veggies. Because uh not that it's a huge deal, but the um honeys eat fruit. And the hunters eat meat, so neither of them will have veggies. Okay, yeah, that's fine. But I've got more than enough veggies yeah. back home. Yeah, you'll be all right. 
It's good to hear your farm is doing well, Aaron. That gets me very excited. We're doing all right. I mean, we're riddled with mistakes here and there, you know, but <laughs> live and learn. As one does. Except, except, you know, the ones that died. Yeah, no, they didn't really. They didn't get to do they that. They didn't get to learn that. I'm currently, it's really funny. I'm staring in the face of this Hunter Largo. Material. You're coming with me, pal. Like that? What the fuck am I supposed to do? What's the... It is the queen. Okay. Oh, the pawn. Okay. I can see that being a good move. Now I'm going to need to be very careful about how I handle things with this guy. So that I don't end up with another tar situation again. <laughs> Probably developing the queen, right? Yeah. One good move for you there. Um, developing the queen to the same square. No, apparently not nearly as good. Uh, I'm supposed to take advantage of something here. Is it? I will say, you? for what this game is, I have no idea why it's done so well. Exactly. That's what's like. That's why. <laughs> They really did the beginning so perfectly because, like, even by the time you finish playing the game, right, like, you've collected everything, yada, 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 it's like you yeah. kind of look back and you're like, what the fuck did I just do? And that's so yeah. perfect for the start of the game because the start of the game doesn't tell you what you're about to do. It just says, I don't know, go do. Go uh, do it. You fucking figure it out. Like, whatever you want. You want to farm shit in, in doubles? Go ahead and do it. You want to farm shit in singles? Do it. You just want to, like, roam around and look how cool the game looks? Fucking do it. It's cool. Okay. I got a hunter plort, but now cool. I need to actually kick out the big guy so that he doesn't do anything on accident that I, just... I don't want him to do. Interesting. Why would I do that? Okay. Oh, shit. Why is this guy angry? Oh, because if I take, I pressure the rook. Got it. Um, so I made... How do I pacify this thing? It's very upset. What? I made a... I made a thing, but it's... You probably feed it. Would be the short answer. No, but it's the angry looking thing. Like, it's the one that looks like it's going to try to attack you. Uh... I bought it a music box. It does not seem to have helped. <laughs> and it won't eat? Like, you can't just feed it? Oh, never mind. It did eat food. Okay. Is it happy now? Yes. Okay. Interesting. Okay, it was very hungry then. Because <laughs> it took a couple of foods. Yeah, it was just... That explains the problem. How did you get out? Go back in. I can't risk that kind of cross-contamination. You know that. What are you... Why can't I pick you up? Wait, what am I supposed to? I don't like that I couldn't pick that I'm up. Still supposed to press that pawn. A little concerning. Better. better way to win a tempo by threatening a high value piece. Really? I can get behind that. It does relieve all of the pressure of the position. Interesting. Yeah, that was a good, that was a good move. That felt good. That was a good move. That was a good move. That was a good move. And that was probably the best move of the game. No, you don't. No, you do not.
Aaron's farm is the equivalent of the Falcons. Dude, it's it's a nightmare trying to get these guys to all get along. <laughs> this guy not have is ever. a vibe. Holy shit. He, he played a good game. He played a five on his first move. What the f actual shit? I don't even know how to digest that. I think I can fuck up his pawn structure. Oh no, I just... Fuck, I just hung up on. Oh my god, and he bit. Oh my god. That was so fucking lucky. <laughs> At least I'm seeing it. Um... Let's develop this queen somewhere. Because it's one of the only pieces I don't have in the game yet. So my farms seem to mostly run themselves now. I bought auto feeders and grabbers for everything. I'm about to be annoying as shit. Which is nice. Okay, buddy, I'm sorry. You you need to go, Hunter. Because I'm about to put him in check on the next... Or about to bring a... Rook E1 here on the next move. He is okay. But I could really start being annoying as fuck. Um... No! No, how? That literally doesn't even make sense, how? I'm about to uninstall. Oh, shit. I don't, I literally don't even know how that could have happened just then. Both of these are blocked, and that's blocked. So it really has to come from here. So if I can get a knight here, that's checkmate. Good way of hiding it. Ah, uh, well, it would still be a disgusting move. I'm going to see if I can do it. I'm going to hop the knight around h4 and then, okay, well. Oh, weird. Okay, so you'd rather pin that piece. I mean, I'm. Oh, I'm not going to be able to go where I want. Oh, shit. All right, let's put my pawns on light squares here, since I don't have a light bishop. And he's putting his pawns on light squares with a light bishop. So I could go here, actually.
I don't know what a lot of these moves that he's doing. I mean, I guess this blocks the, the pin and this protected the rope, but I have no idea what the fuck. Oh, to get the bishop out? But now he's, I don't even know if he's going to do it anymore. But the, yeah. Well, he gets a bishop out this way. Uh, well, he's not going to castle. And I'm cool with that. And that. And he's not losing this this bishop yet. Because he could take back with the pawn. But... Let's go ahead and defend, and then we're thinking knight d4. Not that the bishop's pitting anymore, but it basically is. It has one other square to go to, which is also attacked by the knight. It won't be attacked by both knights. Oh, I got a fun All one right. here. I'm going to hop out, by the way. Okay, see ya. Yeah, dude. I got a fun one here, because I'm going to move knight d4. He's probably going to trade. And I'm going to pick up with the queen here, and if he keeps that rook there, I'm going to put a check. Oh, this is good. Well, actually, no, because now I can go here to double attack. And I don't even have to worry about the trade. Yeah, and then if whenever I do land a knight here, I'll be threatening this rook. Forking, actually. With check. Uh, he's got to move that bishop, because he needs a second defender of that square. Now, once this all simmers, I don't really know what I've got left. Okay, that's fine. That is a second defender. Oh, no, it's not. And... Do I have a better way to simplify? You're in an absolutely terrible spot. No, but I'm going to want my king protected. Yeah, let's go ahead and simplify. Um, let's double attack. Eh. Actually, I really like this move because he's not going to take and hang his queen. Simplify. And... Fork. Skewer, but he'll defend that. Alright, let's up an exchange and a pawn here. This should be enough for me to hold on. Just hold on. For a new high, actually, 1559. 1557 is my previous high. I don't know that you could afford doing that. Um... Where do you plan on going? I mean, you could put me in check, but that's not going to get you anywhere. Um... Oh, I see. I see. He's trying to get her. Um. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. If I can get the queens off the board, I think I'll consider this. Game pretty much over here. Actually, fuck it. He can move there. I don't even have to respond. Because I could take a tempo back by attacking his queen, and then I could just double up the rooks. I like that. 
And his queen won't have any checks on me. Yeah, I don't know what he's going to do about that. I think he's going to have to move the queen, but he doesn't have anywhere to move it that defends the pawn and the knight, which are both under attack separately right now. I... I think he's got to let the pawn fall. Oh, he can do that. Okay, word. I mean, I don't know where that's going to go, but... Because if you try and put me in another check, I'm just going to take... You could defend the pawn, but I'll probably kick you. That's fun. Um... Let's offer. Let's keep the rooks on the back rank here. Let's let's get the queens out if I can. I was gonna take with the rook, but I want to get my queen back into this picture because if ever there's a time to be scared, this game it's right now, when his only goal, his only thing that he can do is counterattack. Which obviously, if it, ooh no, that's obviously protected. Um. I can do this now. And he's going to have to defend the knight. And you put me in check. Losing the knight. I got to be careful. If he goes here, though, the queen's under pressure. So I can't just take the rook. And then, boop. Yeah. Uh, I forgot those two things that the queen was doing. I, I was assuming he was going to put the queen there to defend the, the knight, that or move the knight f4. Um, but I, I noticed on the previous move that I couldn't take the pawn because of the queen. Uh, and I actually forgot about it until just then. Um, Oh, it's mate and eight. Wait. Oh, once I did that. Um, what about that? Yeah, knight f4. This is the best move. Um, queen e7. That's a fun one. It does. It defends the pawn and the knight, and it doubles up actually, which wouldn't be terrible other than the fact that the king's on the actual f1 square, defending the e1 square itself. Uh, but, um, yeah, he didn't have my, yeah, knight f4, what would I have done with knight f4? I probably would have seen if I could fork, which I wouldn't have been able to, the rook and the knight, or offer a queen trade. I would have, I don't know what I would have done. I don't know, I mean, what does it say to do, QF3? Yeah, I saw that. I didn't like that it is eventually forkable with my king, with either knight h2 or knight d2, but that'd be a while because he's diagonally, two squares diagonally away, so he would have to go one, two, three, four moves before he could fork it, and I'd have plenty of time to react. And that would defend the uh, F2 pawn, so. a solid. a solid. See if we can, uh, see if we can pass Mango here. 1559, already at a new high by two points. Let's see if we can, uh, pass my boy Mango. You gonna do fried liver on me? I'll fry some liver with ya. Oh, fry the liver, fry the liver, fry the liver! Oh, you pussy. I got, a, I got a couple fun moves for when people run fried liver on me. I know the main line deeper than a lot of people, but then on top of that... Um, let's... Hold on. There's something that could be done here, and that is... You. Don't let him take control of the center. 
Presumably he's going to trade the pawns. Oh my god. Now do I close the center? Take my own control. Restrict knight c3. Because he's already taken another tempo moving a piece that he's already moved. And then... Let's develop this first. And he might go knight c3, and then I'm probably going to press with d4. He, however, might take with the pawn first and then do knight c3. But if he does, I'm cool with that, and I'm trading down, and I'm getting my queen in the center and keeping the knight over here in the first place. And if he doesn't, then I'm just going to press the pawn anyway, I think. Interesting. Okay. All right. Um... Let's do it. I'll get the bishop out in a couple moves. And we'll uh, castle kingside, get the rook on the open f file. Close shit down here. I'll probably put the bishop on d6. I know it makes it passive, but I just, I get so, so fucking worried. Actually, he might just move to pin the knight. I don't think I'd care. I mean, yeah, I would fuck up my pawn structure on the queen side, but I don't think I'd give a shit. Yeah. And I'm gonna have to develop the bishop somewhere. I could actually go b4. Um, with the thought that if he does move the... Oh, so he's doubled the pressure here, so... Yeah. I should... I gotta protect you somehow. Um, I could move the knight back. I'm gonna want that file open anyway, and it doesn't stop me from developing my f8 bishop. Yeah, let's let's do that. Let's do that. He doesn't have like any squares for him to put his dark bishop. So he's probably going to push b3. Um At which point, I don't know that I'm too oh, okay. All right. That is fair, and I'm okay with it because if you take, I'm just going to press this up and push this up. So let's go ahead and prepare to castle. I'm not going to go d6, though, because I don't want the knight to trade me down. Um, I'm going to go here. And hope that he goes ahead and trades those pawns. He does. I don't know what he had planned next. He could push e5 and just be weird. Okay, so this he's going to move the knight and pin it if I castle kingside. What if I just pressure the queen? And defend the b7 pawn. Makes a progress on this card like that. Will he have anything that he could do about that? Not really. I mean, the queen's not going to have anywhere to go. Yeah. And I'm pressuring the d3 pawn. Okay, he saw it coming. Let's... So I can't push it back yet, because now I just moved the... Let's castle and probably move bishop f6 first. Actually, I could just keep chasing the queen. Add double pressure on that d3 pawn. No, I'll, he'll go queen a. Okay, uh, let's castle. Let's castle and then do it. That way you can't put me in check. He would be smart to defend the d3 pawn. I also don't mind this and this. This for bishop for... Oh! I'm not going to bite. I don't like that you're there. 
but I'm not gonna bite because this bishop's protected. Oh, but he's doubling down here. Okay. Um, fuck. So then... I am gonna do... This? Because what's he gonna do with the queen? Oh, no, because if I... No, because... I'm going to do it, just because I don't want him to trade the knights. I think he's going to go queen c4 and pin this pawn. But any movement with this knight is good to go. Actually, I could just press. Yeah, I could just press a5. I think I might just press a5. If he does that. Yeah. I want my pawns on light squares. And I'm not doing a good job of that. Especially because the only two pawn moves that I have planned are taking the two light squared pawns that I have and putting them on dark squares. Which is... Defending that pawn and defending this pawn. But. So this isn't hanging, but it's about to be. No, no, he doesn't really have anything to bring into the picture. Um, As a matter of fact. Can I. Yeah, so he's got two defenders. Um. So if I take, he's just going to take with the knight. If I take here, well, I could just... I could throw it on the corner here, but it's pretty fucking ugly. I'll start on the corner. Let's throw it on the corner. I'm thinking here, here. And just getting that fucking queen out of here. It'll hang this, but only for the move while I'm pressuring the queen. Oh. And he doesn't need it to defend anymore. Except he's got to go back here. Oh, no, he could go back here. That's the winning move. That's definitely the winning move. Or else he's going to hang this pawn. Uh, but I'm just going to bring a rook over to make sure he hangs the pawn anyway. He'll bring a rook over as well. And I can't trade defenders. Um, and I can't bring the knight back. Well, actually. Yeah, so that's the right move. Um, I'm going to go here. I don't have a pawn that I could pressure this with, but eh. it's the right move. Um, see, but if I take, he's going to be pinned. Until he moves the bishop wherever the fuck he wants. Unless he takes back with the rook first. No. 
now. Okay, I can't do that. Um, let's. Well, but if he does move the bishop, he's going to be hanging that. Let's just push that for now. Um, he doesn't have any great moves with this knight. Actually, yeah, he's got a couple annoying ones. Never mind. But he can't move them yet. So, and he can't push the pawn either. And he can't really defend with anything else because he can't move this one. And he's not going to be able to get in with the rook until way later. So, this is very stale for him. So, okay, here's the fun one here. If he takes back so i will be down material but i'm gonna like where i'm at no i'm not no i'm not because he's just gonna move the rook over here so i go here what if i take this first no what if i oh no i could have taken the e4 pawn i could have taken the e4 pawn up until he moved that bishop All right, I don't have an escape route if I do this. Yeah, I do. All right, well, kind of. I'll have to trade this knight out, and then I'll have an escape route. I didn't need to do that, because it's defended by the knight, and I actually should want, yeah, that. Anyway, um... I'm going to How go here. How bad is that? Because he's not going to, I mean, he's not in a great spot with that. He's going to move. No. Yeah. That'd be really annoying. Um, let's do that. Go ahead and trade it down. And I can't do this yet. But I could do that. When did he get up upon? Oh, with the queen. The queen trades. You still can't push this pawn. You pretty much have to bring the rook back, as far as I can tell. And then I think I might push my queenside majority pawns and be annoying. Um... Can't really get the king in the picture. What if I... Oh! Here we are again. I get this opportunity. One more time. Fuck yeah, dude. Okay. Um... I don't know. He's got time on me by a little bit here. Um, I'm gonna... Getting a little intense here. I had a feeling he was going to do that. And then I'm going to try and get these knights off the board and activate my king at the same time here. He doesn't have many. I mean, he can go here with the knight, but why would he do that? I don't know. I'm just going to push my queenside majority. Maybe even bring the rook up and be annoying. Um, do I kick him? I think I want to kick him. Oh no, because I'm hanging that. Oh fuck, I'm hanging that too! 
Oh no, it's it's all right. 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 No, it's not. No, because he's just gonna move back as soon as I do this. But it's okay. Because we are gonna go. I don't know. Activate the night. That's really pretty unfortunate that I just hung that. And now I got four pawn islands. And no more queenside majority. I needed that to be played better. Um. So I wanted to bring you up anyway. But. That's not going to work. I gotta play quick. Cause he's got time pretty heavily on me. Stay here. This might be able to check me. Yeah. That was a move. It's gonna push the rook. Um, but I'm I'll be able to put him in check, and we'll see where we can go from there. Um, okay. I guess that's how we're hanging pieces now. I, I mean, that's not even a trade. That's just a hung piece. Sure. You forgot what that knight was doing, too. I can't put you in check again, but I can go ahead and take that one. Yeah, that was something. I don't know, let's do this. He's defending the pawn, so even if I... Okay, alright. Well, he was defending the pawn. Sure. What are you gonna do? Knight! Um... I don't have a lot of time. Honestly, defending with the knight would be terrible. But just pushing the king back, I have threes. Also fine. Now you can trade knights, winning a pawn, but I mean, I got 53 seconds, that's plenty enough to win. Okay. You're going to fork the two of them? You could have just done that on the last move. You know what? I'm not even going to let you, I don't think. <laughs> Your king can't come up. I mean, what do you get? Your knight basically can't fucking move. Mm. Just going to push. Let's go... I don't know that you can even stop it. I don't think you can. All right. Fuck off. And now I'm <laughs> fucking queen with check. Oh, queen with a pin, sure. That's gonna be really fun. All right. Oh, it's 1566. I think Mango is 1567. Oh, 1563. Let's go. Is that as high, though? I don't think that's as high, is it? Um, rapid. Highest. 1563. All right. Sure. All right. Well, that's a that's a message in the discord. This first set of parts I'm gonna post in Discord. Fuck yeah, no, I like that. I'm posting in Discord over here in a second too. And then I can need to double check my waivers for fantasy. Let's go though, dude. I mean I'm <laughs> That is I'm not just Okay, I'm not I'm not sixteen hundred, right? But admittedly my goal is just sixteen oh eight. I wanna I wanna I've always this whole time I've been playing chess, 
it's fun to hit a new hundred right when i hit 1200 when i hit a thousand really when i hit 900 but right when i hit a thousand 1100 1200 13 14 15 every time i hit a new hundred it's fun but I remember very vividly at 1200, I hit it pretty fucking early in terms of my skill level. Like I wasn't 1200 at the time. So the challenge that I had made for myself, because I was like, okay, well, that was kind of bullshit. You know, like I didn't really deserve 1200. The challenge that I made for myself was to hit 1200 and then win a game. Um, I did not do that for a while when i hit 1200 i hit 1200 and then lost it i hit 1200 and then lost it i hit 1200 and i think i may have lost it again but i know it was at least the third time that i hit 1200 that i actually hit 1200 and then also won another game right because like winning the game to get to 1200 or whatever hundred you know at the, like when you think about it it's just a game right like you just needed to win that game now that's not true you needed to win games before it but you know in my head i'm thinking that's just a game right if i can win the game to say that i'm 1200 and then also win a game and prove that i deserve to be here then i'm 1200 right so what i really want to do obviously i want to get ahead of john um, which would be 1608 and if he realizes i'm coming for him or if i tell him or if he just happens to play games my goal is still just 1608 because underlying it what i really want to do is not just hit 1600 i want to hit 1600 and then win a game that's my goal um which i'm not gonna now it is possible in theory if i was like 1599 and i beat someone that was like a whatever 1700 i would get nine points for it and i would go up to 1608 um, I might consider that the same thing because I was one point shy of 1600 and then I got a win against the 1700, right? So like if that happened, I'd probably consider it. Um, but in general, what's going to happen is I'm going to hit 1600 or 1604 or something like that. Um, and then any amount of points, really, the only way it's possible for me to like not do that is for me to like get exactly 1600 and then basically play a 1500 and get that win and then i would tie a 1607 so um in most cases getting one win over 1600 is going to put me exactly at 1608 or you know within eight points is above that um so that's my goal so i want to get 1600 and then win a game um but all that to say so effectively Without really explaining everything I just explained every time I explain this to someone, my goal is just to get 1600, right? Like, I want to I wanna be a 1600 graphics player. Um, I'm at the point where I'm not, I'm not just closer to 1600, right? I'm closer to 1600 than I am to 1500. But that would have happened at 1551, right? Like, I'm not at this point just closer to 1600 than I am to 1500. I'm two games closer to 1600 than i am to 1500 i am two games closer i'm what is that 34 points if i play against the right people that is four games if i win the next four games then there's a chance i'm 1600 what's more likely the case is um after the next four games if i do get there i'll start photo hobbies if you want people i do um give me a second um, if I do get there in the next four games, what's likely going to happen is I'm going to be like 1597 or something like that, or 1596. And then I'll have to win another game to get 1600. And then I'll have to win another game to do what I just said, which is hit 1600 and then get a win. So really, I've got about six games left. I need to go about six games positive um, to do what I want. But, like, that's not insane. Honestly, the craziest thing about it at this point is that I need to go six games positive from, what is this, a four win streak? A four win streak. That's the real crazy thing, is I need to go six games positive from a four win streak. So if I were to do it right now, it would take a 10 win streak to happen. Um, so that's not going to happen. Um, what's more than likely going to happen is I might win one more game and hit like 15, 74 or whatever. 1573 depending on who i play um and then i'm probably gonna fall i don't know man i've been playing good lately i've been playing good lately 
like this is 83.8 percent accuracy let me see what this one was because we didn't get to review it between games here just a ton of bags left to open and build oh for the lego set yeah let me let me go ahead and check it while this loads and it just loaded but that's okay okay word word i love the steering wheel just sticking out the front i love the v8 too wow that's actually gonna be massive holy cow that's gonna be like i mean that's gonna be like shoulder width isn't it i mean if the engine is you know that size relative like to your desk and your keyboard oh my god do you have hold on hold on this is an amazing realization that i'm coming to and you have no idea what i'm going on about because it's not even that good but it is fucking hilarious do you so let me go products let me go this is good this is really good this is really really good um why is this not there we go let me just I don't want to show it on me. I don't really want to show it on stream at all, if I'm being honest, um, but it's fine, I guess. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It was like Molensks or something. Let me. Uh, color black. Uh, I don't remember what the price is. That materials would. And let's sort of Oh, no, but not that. Uh, price. Eh. Let's do that and then actually sort price low to high. Hold on, this is super fucking stupid, but. Where is it? Dude, does Ikea not sell it anymore? I think you have my old desk. Is it just mall? No, that's what this is. That's this desk, I think. No. No, it's not. This desk. All right, how do I... Give me a second. Eh, hold on. All right, I'm like specifically trying to hide certain things. Is this your desk? You ordered it off Amazon. God damn it. So you don't know. Is this your desk? Does it have the little like um, cord holder on the back right here and then these two drawers? And nothing else and like just that level of thickness of wood? How do I, can I go to the next image? Nope. Damn it. All right. Um, anyway, I was, I was looking at, I was going to review this game and I was looking at your desk. It just looks like the exact same wood. I don't even have drawers. Is it the same besides the drawers? Either way. Yeah, because this is 78% accuracy. Uh, well, let's go ahead and review the game. I was going to not review it, but... Hmm, this seems like a mistake to me. Yeah, it's because I hung the pawn. I don't want to fucking talk about it. He ended up not biting, so fuck off. Um, I mean, I don't... have to... give a shit? About what he just did? I could just go here... But I don't imagine that he's going to pull this bishop out and pin me, so it doesn't really get me anywhere anyway. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it probably wants me to do this. Ah, it wants me to defend it. Interesting. It doesn't want me to move the bishop. Interesting. What's the intention? And it's got to be a queen move, right? What is the goal here? 
I had a Queenside Castle? No. Really? Huh. Okay. Sure. Wouldn't do that over again. Sure. Yeah, now that was the right move. He could have won a pawn if he just absolutely fucked up. Miss Pants, capture an undefended piece. Oh, no, yeah, it's right. That is a free pawn, which is why he ended up pushing on the next move with d5. That is fair. This move might cause trouble. H3. Yeah, fuck off. Fuck off. It allows him to sacrifice, but I don't really give a shit if he sacrifices. Um... It also hardly allows him to sacrifice because he did all of this to avoid the pin on the knight. So, like, I'm not worried about that. Um, is it really this? Oh, I guess I could. No, yeah, I guess I could do this. Okay, not that. Um. Oh, yes, this this is the way. I set my desk to you on snap. Oh, give me a second. Oh, okay, so no. Looks good though. Oh fuck, give me a second. I meant to do this earlier, but Aaron was in party, and the only time I remembered it was when I was like genuinely having a conversation. Uh and so I didn't want to get up and like walk away. Um, but I needed to charge my phone, which means I needed to switch charges because I still haven't ran electrical to this room, so I still don't have enough electrical outlets for all of the shit that I've got on my desk. Um, yeah, that's not my desk. It's cool though. Like, very simple. Um. Okay, I really like that move. Two points better apparently than H3, which. Sure, I guess now that this is moved, I can push H3, and it's no longer sacrifice. Uh, sacrifice prone because I'll just take back with the queen, and then he could trade queens, and I'll fuck off over there. But like, he's not gonna be getting to me. Especially with whatever the fuck this rook is doing over here. Uh. Cool. All right. Well, that was the last time I fucked up. So I held a five point advantage the rest of the game. God, I did not feel like I was winning that. Yeah, until there. Huh. I guess I did kind of force his hand on that. And then it was just me trying to simplify. Go ahead and fork. Wait. Okay. Yeah, fork. Still only back to five points. Hold on, I gave him some shit here. So I took there. Okay, trading down was like a two point problem. What was the best move? Going ahead and pressuring it right now. Oh, that would actually. Oh! Uh, I guess he still could have just gone g8. That's not a huge deal. And check. <laughs> now it's plus 17. Want to be run right quick? Bruh. You don't want to fuck around with a 1566, yo. But yeah, hold on. Let me finish my point here. So I got 78 accuracy on this game. So in my last whatever games here. There we go. Jeez. Uh, let me refresh this because it shows it. Um, I had 84 accuracy and got the win. 78 accuracy and got the win, which the only reason it wasn't higher was honestly like you saw the moves that I just fixed. Like that one night move was kind of insane. And then, okay, sure, I hung a pawn, but he didn't even take it because he didn't even see it. So, like, people at my level might not even see that shit, right? So, right. So, 84 accuracy, 78 accuracy, 80 accuracy, 82 accuracy. My one loss in the last however long. It was 78 accuracy still, just against someone who played 88. Um, and then the one time I played pretty low, the two times I played pretty low accuracies were just insane games in the first place where we both played low accuracies, right? Where he played 63 and 55, so I played 71 and 69. Um, and then honestly, the only other loss, I played literally within a point of accuracy of him. Um, and it just didn't matter. Had a brilliant move the other day. I like that. And then even still here, 74% accuracy, 82% accuracy. This one, I feel like I deserve to lose. And this one, I deserve to lose. This one was stupid. Fuck this game. 
We both played 93% accuracy for 59 moves and then just stalemated. Um, I was also low on time, and he was refusing to, like, actually just draw. Um, so he ended up just playing repetition anyway, and I was like, okay. And then look at these wins. You know, 89 accuracy, 84 accuracy. That one's bad. But literally, if you look at the all of my... Hold on. Now I'm actually really interested. Let me go insights here. Um, and let's go a custom date range where we're just going to go the last couple days here. Um, we're just going to go from here to the 27th. So 20 games. It's not a huge sample size, and I did lose six games. But check this out. 80 overall accuracy. And when I win, it's 81. When I draw, it's 86. Now, sure, when I lose, it's 75. But that's only happened six times anyway, so that's actually a particularly small sample size. The draw one's small, too. But, like, that's not bad, man. I want to check Gotham's insights. I beat a 1600. Yesterday? Today? Something like that? That was one of these moves. Or one of these games. Give me a second. Um, please. There we go. Uh, yeah, this Jay Ricardo guy. He was 16-13 when we started the game. And he, he, I got 10 and he lost 10 for it. Um, That was a good game. That was a really fucking good game. That was a really good game. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show it to you guys real quick. Um... So I played the scotch, but this was the fun part. So this was the cool part of playing 1600. He still played the, they're tried playing the four knights opening. He still played both his knights in the opening, despite playing the scotch, which you're just supposed to take this pawn, right? Like everyone at this level knows that you're supposed to take this pawn. Um, you could do it with the knight in the event that you planned on doing that on the next move anyway. Um, but you're just supposed to take that pawn, but he doesn't actually take the pawn. He still plays knight f3, f6. Um, and so I actually paused here for a second. You see, it took me 30 seconds. And I was like, you know, I'm just going to take the pawn with the knight um, and then pressure him. And he's going to take the pawn as expected. But then I'm going to pressure him here. And now I've got a queen and a knight developed for his knight development with a pawn in the center of the board. And I was like, I'm, I'm cool with all of that. And then he tries to develop a castle, and then I castle the opposite side so I can get a massive attack going. Um, and then this was good. Um, so he presses here, and I was like, hold on. Wait a second. Why take the pawn? Just because. Um, so I saw that what was going to happen is... So I could have taken with the pawn, but then... He's going to jump down with the knight. I'm going to bring the queen out, and he's going to move the knight around somewhere else, right? He actually, at that point, could even push the pawn because the knight isn't pinned. Um, so there's a chance that he gets developed here um, with, you know, pawn here, knight here. So I, I guess here, let's move it out. So say he does this, he does this, um, I do this. He could, well, so this would be en passant, so no, he's not going to do that. Um... No, yeah, he is going to retreat. Um, but then I don't really have a good way to pressure these knights anymore. So they are just going to stay developed. Now, I also had to have a developed knight, but now I could bring another one in and I will be more developed than him, but it's not going to mean as much, right? So what I did was I basically forced more pieces off the board um, by going ahead and trading with the knight first. Um, he could have still do dove in and I could have done this, but then he doesn't have this square free. Um, so he's a little worse off. He's going to do some shit like this or something. No, what is the right move? Oh, he's got a block. So that way I don't just move the pawn and move the knight for check. Um, yeah, so he actually doesn't really have a good move. So he's not going to do that. Um, so he ends up trading and then he takes the pawn and it pushes him around. And now look how much more developed I am. Basically, you're an ass. Basically, um, but it's also, I mean, it's not just being an ass. It's the right move, right? Like, there's a reason why he was down a point and a half as soon as he made that move. And this is it, right? This is, you know, even material, but I've got a pawn and a queen more developed than him. And a pawn on his side of the board. Um, yeah, loses the queen if he takes after he castled, yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, the... Um, so that was how we played that out. And then he defends here with the from, you know, the pin and whatever the fuck happens um, so that he can castle. And then he's plays this pawn move. 
which if you're looking at the top right, you already get it spoiled for you. But I looked at this and I said, well, hold on. Here, the knight is defended by the bishop, right? So if I just take, it's just a simple trade. He's going to get that bishop out. And then I can't really do anything about it. But now, the knight is not defended by the bishop. The knight is defended by the pawn. And pawns take differently from the bishop and are also standing on a different square. So instead of bringing the pawn in, which I actually could have done. Um, yeah, it actually, yeah, it would have been the same thing because he's going to take back with this. Um, and then I'm just going to do Badoop. And then he's got the same thing. Or he's going to take back with this. And then I'm going to Badoop. But basically, whether I traded the pawn or not, the key was what I ended up doing, which is just taking it. Um... And he, so here was the fun part. So he gets here in one minute. Um, I take seven seconds to realize I want a castle. He takes five seconds to push that pawn. So he didn't really think much about it. He maybe considered it a little bit, but I mean, five seconds. He did not think about that move very much. And then I take, and another five seconds later, he was just ready to take again, which also I took 10 seconds there so even if you combine it all together he took 15 seconds to realize he wanted to take there and so i guess he could have seen it kind of like adding up and realizing that that was the best move was to go ahead and get the bishop and the rook for it but he still just yeah it took yeah it basically took 15 seconds to blunder his queen um and I was just like, okay, sure. So now we're at even time here with nine minutes apiece, and I'm up a queen to a rook. And he actually made it difficult. So this is the 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 key to, I guess, 1600s, but really the key to playing someone who's just a little bit better than you. Not a ton, because you can obviously play them. And, you know, the, the point of what I'm about to make is that you have the lead. So you can have the lead. But when you're playing someone that's better than you, it is, they make it difficult. That's the difference between playing someone better than you and someone worse than you. Someone worse than you, you're going to be making better moves to the point where you get the lead. And then you're just going to keep making better moves because you're better, right? On average, at least, you know, you can have a game where you lose, but like on average, if you're playing someone worse than you, you're just going to play better until you have a lead. And then you're going to play better after you have a lead. Um, whereas when you're playing someone better than you, you can take the lead, but then they're going to be playing better than you after that, basically, right? Like on average. Now, it won't mean as much because they're not because they don't have a lead, but, you know, they'll be playing better. So I'm basically just like, you know, all right, let me just defend this pawn. He brings the bishop down. And I go ahead and pressure it and push it away. I go ahead and pressure it and push it away again. Um, and then I realized, oh, shit, I don't want him to go to c6. So let me go ahead and add my bishop, develop my bishop here, get my rook connected to my king in the back rank. Um, and he puts me in check here. I just walked to the side. It was pretty desperation. Um, and I got a nine point lead here. So he goes ahead and puts the bishop out anyway. And I'm like, you can't seriously want to triple these fucking pawns. And he triples these pawns. Um, so, OK, I took it. Um, he did open up his rook here, and he actually made an interesting situation where he opened up his rook here. So really what he did was he basically said, I don't even just want to trade bishops. I will trade bishops and lose a pawn if it opens up the only other active pieces I have to your king, which are the, the rooks. Um, and the bishops already pointed out, he just put me in check. Right, so it's like, he went ahead and accepted the trade of the bishops and the fact that he's gonna lose another pawn or two out of this situation. Um... But as a result, he was able to basically pressure this whole situation. So I forked the two of them. Um, he pressures a pawn or two pawns. And it doesn't really matter. I could have taken the pawn. I don't remember why I didn't. Oh, because I didn't want him to put rook here. So I didn't want to move the knight yet. Um, I wanted the knight to still defend this d2 square. Um, so he takes the pawn. And then at that point, I was like, well, we're not defending the square anymore. So I went ahead and just took. Um, so we traded pawns there and now I'm pressuring the bishop and now I'm not pressuring the bishop and he's pressuring a knight and I say, I don't know, okay, I'll just take a little outpost here. Um, and now I'm pressuring the bishop again to which he moves the bishop to cover. Um, and then I go ahead and line up what I'm hoping is a finishing attack and he just pushes a pawn because he doesn't want to have to think about it. So then I move the queen out of the way and he adds the rook as pressure. But, you know, looking at these moves, like, I don't, 
have anything. I have lead, right? We'll get there eventually, right? I'll be able to move a knight around and trade some shit down, which is what I do right here. I go ahead and say, you know what? Fuck it. Trade it down. Like I, I like I realized I was like, I don't have anything here. Like he's got the rooks sitting down the middle. Like I, I don't ha I only have three pieces. Right? So if I'm making an attack, it can only be three pieces of an attack. And if he defends with all three of his, I'm not going to trade down, right? I'm not going to trade queens down and go to a pawn ending here when I've got this advantage. Um, even though I could win, given how these pawns are sitting here. But um, I was like, yeah, I, I'm, I'm not going to do that. So I went ahead and just traded down. I accepted a pawn down just so that I could sit here and, and have the queen up on him still. And he made it difficult. He went ahead and traded down. I go ahead and get onto the seventh rank. He doubles his rooks and I fork him. Um, he pressures my queen so that I can't win either of them, but I win a pawn anyway. Um, and if you're looking at the clock here, I'm taking more time than him. I'm taking a lot of time here. Um, he goes ahead and saves his other rook here. Um, and I don't really worry about it. I go ahead and just defend this pawn. I know it wasn't the right move, but I was like, I don't know. What the fuck else are you going to do? You're going to put me in check or some shit? Oh, okay, cool. Um, he puts me in check or some shit. And you want to know what he does next? He puts me in check again, which pressures this rook, which doesn't really have any other good squares to go to, I guess, other than up. He could have gone here, but... Um, that was the only other good square, and it would have actually not been the worst thing in the world to double these rooks. Um, but doubling them vertically here is not really what you want. If you want to double them vert like horizontally here or some shit like that, that'd be better, which he could work towards. But um, but yeah, so he pushes up, which whatever. Um, so I go ahead and just start taking the pawns here. But like you'll kind of notice, like especially when I push this H pawn, that I could have taken this pawn here the whole time. Um... But it was like, I don't know that I want to do that. Like, I can, but then he's going to have isolated pawns over here, and he's just going to be taking these, and I don't know that I'm going to be taking these. So I was like, I'm just going to protect this. I'm not going to rush, right? Like, I've got the lead. I can definitely hold it. I can put him in check with either piece if I wanted to, but I don't really give a shit. So then I just rode this out, pushed him away, took a pawn, uh, threatened both rooks, and then he actually forked me, which was fun. Uh, or, or, yeah, I guess that's a fork. Um... I saw it, so I moved, and right here I saw it. <laughs> like, as soon as I moved, I saw it, and I was like, I don't know. I don't really care. Um, so I traded down, he traded down, he goes and starts taking pawns for pawn here, and I'm realizing I don't really give a shit. Like, I'm defending this pawn, and I go ahead and take up there. This is where it gets fun, though, because you'll notice, like, I don't really have a lead, right? Like... I've got two open pawns, and he almost has two open pawns. So it's just a matter of, like, am I going to fuck this up? Uh, and he offers another trade. So I said, okay. But even still, I only I have two open pawns, but he has an open pawn that's more progressed than mine. So if he just keeps pushing, he's actually going to queen first. Now, it won't matter, because I'm going to queen with check and a fork here. Um, so I fuck up. I thought. Apparently, I was fine. But... He goes ahead and puts me in check, and right about here, I literally, literally smacked my head. I was like, God, damn it, you gotta be kidding me. Um, because I was like, he's got the, he's got the open pawn here, and it's closer, and I'm not gonna win a pawn race. Which, you're right, I'm not gonna win a pawn race. I'm not fucking supposed to. I'm supposed to race him down. And his king is not going to get there in time until I just sit in front of it and march my own pawn down anyway. Um, and then these two are defending each other. And I take, and second he goes and takes that pawn, I march without defense. Uh, and then he resigned. Um, but that was insane. And that was a 1600. Like, like that's what happens is when you play someone who's better than you, they're going to make moves that are better than you. You know, like, that's just what's going to happen. Um... Yeah, so that was what happened. Um, it was a good game. It was a really good game. But yeah, it was crazy. Um, I don't have your, your offer anymore, which is also fine with me, if it's fine with you. Looks like a lot of people in school's chess club like bullet. That's disgusting. That's so gross. I've seen three plus two. 3 plus 2 is pretty solid. Um, honestly, I wouldn't even be opposed to 30 minute. I like 10 minute because I can get it out without really investing my time into it. 
Uh, a lot of them are around, like, yeah, 900 to 1,000 rapid. They like 3 plus 2. Okay, okay, yeah. 3-2 three, three is solid. Um, I can get behind 3-2. It's quick. Um, but if you're good, it's slow enough. Um, sure. Uh, I guess I could put a headset on. Not that I really give a shit. You gonna fry my liver? No, he's not gonna fry my liver. Um... I don't know how to do fried liver yet. I didn't get that far. <laughs> I thought I, I think I showed it to you one time. You showed me a nutty little thing yeah. that you did with fried liver. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, I love the one move at a time here. You know, because I've, I've been doing an opening where I'll just take the the knight that's covering, or that's like blocking the queen. And then uh, typically I can get a fork out of it. Uh, but I, I'm not. So here we are. I'm just going to do that. I'm okay with that. And that. Yeah, that's that. <laughs> yeah. That's annoying. <laughs> okay. Nice doubled pawns, loser. <laughs> <laughs> Just so I could do the exact same thing. And hang one. You know how we do. You know how you do. It's not really hanging one. Yeah. Um. That, like won't matter. Oh. Mm. Well, if I defended it with the pawn, then you were just going to push the other pawn. F3. Can't do that. Actually, you could, but... Actually, yeah, no, that's pretty solid, because I have to take with the king. Um, We are going to... Hmm. Okay, all right. All right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, I can't, can't castle. castle. <laughs> <laughs> you actually you have a good move. Oh, no, you don't. Um, don't know. It's gonna it be funny because you're gonna see it, and then you're gonna realize that it's not a good move. Probably after doing it, though. I'm trying to weigh my options, and none of them are good. <laughs> I'm gonna do the. But why would this be bad? Oh, only one way to find out. Wow, okay, not what I expected. Uh... Like, I saw that, <laughs> and it didn't bother me. That's fair. It should. Yeah, because I don't know how to go from here. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, not that. That was about the worst move I could have done. That was about the worst move you could have done, because even defending the pawn would have been sticky once I moved the the king and the knight away. Okay. Oh! Wait. <laughs> Look at shit! Oh, it's so close. But wait, there's more! No, stop. Don't do that. Uh... Yeah, I'll just do it. Alright, there goes you my streak of brilliance. No, you still have some good moves. Keep keep up the pressure. Your your best idea here is to keep up the pressure. Cause that... you've got everything pointed at my king right now. You have mate. No. But it's close. You don't have to keep up the pressure because I'm realizing the one th way that you would have kept up the pressure, I could defend, and then you would be basically trading pieces down. Um, which you might not want to do down two pawns. So, your call on trading down for pressure here, but you've got some good m moves. Um, yeah. 
That was the next one. I was thinking bishop e5 and then bringing the rook to h8. But then I was going to play something different here. So... Here's the deal, though. I'm just going to defend it. And then I'm going to go here. And your rook is trapped. You can defend it, and you probably should. And I'm, oh fuck, I don't like that. Shit. I have a move I you wanna do. make. You I'm do. Not um, sure how I wanna make it. I don't know if that makes sense. We're back here again. We are. Uh, I, I think my best move is to offer a stalemate by just repeating this, and it's up to you if you take it or not. It's up to me to figure out how to how to not mm -hmm. deal with this. You have. Oh no! Never mind. Am I supposed to not? It might just be a stale, like it might be an even game right now, which your call if you want to keep it that way. Okay. Um. Yeah. I knew that one was coming. Yeah, you should have defended the square before. If you were going to do something that didn't put me in check, you should have done something to defend F2. Which, I mean, could have been a bishop, could have been a rook, could have been a king. I don't know how to deal with that, and that's the problem. Mm -hmm. What could go wrong? A lot. Yeah. Yes, is the answer to that question. Move there, move there. And doing that is okay. I think. Time to find out why it's not. <laughs> that is annoying. Um Yeah, that's good. Uh because I I've used a lot of times. Gonna I could tell I've been playing chess more. Yeah. If you look at my time. <laughs> It's some chess lessons, baby, and them daily puzzles. For this work, I am on a weak streak of puzzles. Yeah. Oh, I can't even move over to the bishops. I can't even do anything here. Admittedly, I probably should have played this differently. The horse's name was Friday. What are you fucking talking about? I I think I have it. Oh, you think you have check? Oh, nice! Yes. Nice, there wasn't anything I could have done about that, was there? I don't think so. I don't think so, because my king was stuck on that side of the board, and I couldn't bring another piece to defend. You could have brought a pawn down. One of those two pawns behind your king. Uh, well, but... The... Yeah. Yeah, you're right. You're right. So when did I fuck it up? Two mistakes. What do really? I got? Really? Taking the rook? Phenomenal. I Which had makes sense. Holy... Sh I'm... Maybe I am 1,500. All right, let's look at my game review here. That was a great fucking game. Now, admittedly... 
where you got it was because I took a rook with a knight, which, sure. Um, what was I supposed to do? From winning to losing after that move. Was I just supposed to move the king back? Sure. And it My restricts actors. you from coming over. Now, but I'm not going to get that rook because you're just going to move g1. Let me open your stream back up. Because I want to see your rookie because I'm just kind of curious. Okay, yeah. This inaccuracy is where I lost the pawn to you. What should I have done? Yeah. Just move the bishop. Admittedly, I had the lead and I was just making moves assuming that I was going to be keeping a lead. Um, and that was where I fucked up. Like, in, in most games that go something like that, I wouldn't be losing that game. But because... I mean, that was, just, that was good. Bringing that rook over for check and the bishop to, to kick it away for check was, was really fucking good. Why? Okay. I guess that makes sense. What? Eh, to kick an enemy piece. Did you just want me to do that? Yeah. Actually, I don't know that I could have saved it because I was just looking at that tab and there wasn't... I didn't make a mistake at the end. Yeah, the mistake I made at the end was moving the bishop. It was mate in five once I moved that bishop out. I think I need to do this. No, what did I need to Why do? Why would it want me to have this? moved my bishop there for the next no, mate ten. move? You could set up a pin. Bishop a6. Mate in ten? What the Wait, fuck what? are you looking at? Oh, it's just supposed to offer this. Holy shit. I had a feeling, but I wasn't gonna. Let me just put it that way. They're only calling the rook pin with the fucking... Bishops, they're only calling that shit a great move. Give me a brilliant. Come on, I deserved it. Yeah, so that was a great move, and then that was a great move. Yeah, two great moves back to back, which is the only reason you had that game. Which, um, but hey, where? that's what you gotta do. Uh, with the rook and the bishop to kick my uh, king away and grab the rook. Word. Um, and then you had a ten point advantage from there out. So it's a good thing you didn't stalemate. Oh, and then I... bringing the bishop back. The uh, one of your other great moves, one of your other great moves was correcting a good move from before and putting it back to where it was. That's what you were called. You uh, shouldn't and, have moved and, away. Analysis. I hit retry. God, and then you made another what I would call a great move. It was a four point swing. If you made any move other than it, it was four points worse. Which move? Uh, bringing that bishop down to attack the pawn, which I went ahead and just ate it up for you and let you grab the rook as well. Or grab the bitch knight as well. But, no, I mean, you, you ma literally made, like, four or five moves that if you had made any other move, the game would have gone completely differently. But that is the key, right? Like, that is... That feels good. That's what you have to morning, do to be winning these I games, played, you know? Early this morning when I played the guy that was 1,800, only on, like, 100 games played. Yeah. I, I was rapid, but... Earlier today, uh, I just straight up blundered a rook against him sure. and resigned. And I go, well, besides that move, how, <laughs> how, what do you think my rating is? He goes, besides that, like 15, 16 hours. Like, all right. Cool. Yeah, I don't know if you're that, but we'll, we'll see. if you yet. are, we'll see it. Right. If you are, we'll see your rating climb very quickly because <laughs> you'd be absolutely smacking 700s. You got to rematch her. Oh, you want a rematch? I don't know. I mean, I don't. I don't have your rematch for what it's worth. If you sound good, um, if I do this and then hit rematch. Oh, there it is. Oh, sure. All right. I literally yeah, just want to make, make this one rated. No. Get up to fifteen hundred, and then we'll consider it. Okay. Don't do it. Whatever move you're thinking of, don't do it. And then the next one that you thought was more clever, don't do that one either. <laughs> Fuck are you on about? <laughs> hey. And that's the one that you thought was more clever. <laughs> no, because you don't see it how I see it. People do that all the time. The, the one that I told you not to do was Knight F6, and the one that you thought was more clever... It was, okay, good, because I was looking at was on C5. I, Trust me, I've played this opening literally thousands so, of times. Don't worry, I know the knight one, because you would have just pushed your pawn, mm -hmm. and I would have just been annoyed. Um, I am just going to develop no problem. Aha! 
Let's go here. I'm gonna pin you, but I don't feel like doing that today. Now you're playing shit I haven't seen, and that's where it gets scary. <laughs> this if is my not... go-to. Like, like this is other than someone playing Knight F6 and me pushing the knight back to where it came from or taking it. Um, other than Knight F6, Pawn C4, uh, C5 is. If it's not the bullshit Italian opening. I don't know it. I don't mind that move. I'm still going to bite into it a little bit here. We could do trade however many pieces you want. I I see why you would do that. <laughs> it could happen. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab it. That is what they call in the business free real estate. Free real estate. Um, let's defend it. You gonna make me trade? Know what to play? <laughs> Most didn't move. Hmm. No, because then you'll just be an ass. Whatever it is, I need to know. How can I be an ass about this? Um, it's not actually as bad as I thought. No, that's fine. Um, I was down to last game and I made a swing happen, but uh, this is not last game. This is not. Some would say. Good shit. I like you. Okay. See, then you'll do shit like that, and it's like, bro, why else would I have moved the rook to d1? <laughs> oh, man. That's not what I thought you were going to do. Well, once you move away. what your next move is going to be. Whoa, I never saw that pawn pushing coming. That's what I'm called for. 
Doesn't really do too much because you were going to move the king out of the way anyway. Um, but now I'm just going to be annoying. <laughs> uh, what am I doing? Oh, I could have. I literally missed like four mates in a row there. I forgot that I was working with a queen. For some reason, I Where thought I had a row. Blunders. Yeah, so your biggest one. I don't even need to analyze the game. I you're, already know which one you're talking about. Because I, so it was right here on move twenty one, when you took the pawn, which you are apparently already down six. So it's not a big deal if I'm being honest with you. But also like. I just moved the you just moved the knight to d7 and I just moved the rook to d1. Like let me let me pull stream back a little bit. Oh, this is the one where I just like Yeah, like so we're sitting here and so we know that we've got these bishops here. I trade, you trade. Alright, that's fine. That's a normal thing for pretty much anyone to do. I take a pawn, and you have to respond to the check, so you take it. That's also normal. I put you in check, you block it with a defended rook. That's normal. It forces me to make a decision with the rook before I lose it. So I trade, you take. That was forced, right? Well, then I put the rook on d1, and it just seemed like you completely, like, didn't give a shit. <laughs> like, because you actually could have defended the pawn. Not that you would have kept it, but, like, if you had put, like, knight c5, yeah. honestly, you could have taken the... Oh, no, you couldn't have taken the hanging pawn. But, yeah, yeah, knight c5, adding more pressure to the to the e4 pawn so that I would need to bring in another defender, which I would do with uh, taking d3, but you were going to lose that pawn anyway. But then you could put, like, you know, rook over here on, on d8 and add pressure there where I've, I've got two... You would have two attackers and I wouldn't have enough to... Yeah, er, that, that one on yeah. the analysis, it showed me about everything I could have done. Yeah. Um. All right, I'm going to play right. a different one here. I'm going to... This, this is for the this is for the series. Um, the which one I want to play? Bon Clap. No. Uh, I'll start with Queen's Pawn so I'm forced to play something other than the Italian or the Scotch. Um, then what player. we're gonna do? I don't fucking know, man. I just don't fucking know what I'm gonna do. They're not gonna play that same one because now I know how to counter it to an extent. See, I just tolerated here. Yeah. You smell. Okay, I can close you off. Oh, I think I know what this is. Somebody played something like this against me. Somebody call nine one one. Turn it by. It's Queen's pawn. It's it's a Queen's gambit basically, but it's it's accelerated because I threw the bishop on the outside of this pawn diagonal here, um, before going ahead and closing it in. Um, play normally here. I know what I am. That just hangs upon. Um, yeah. So you can see how you decide to get it back. I won't. You won't. I was about to say, please don't hang the in night too. <laughs> um. Let's push that. You have a not bad move here. Yeah, that specifically. Um, I'm gonna take so I don't lose and then Yeah, good move. Uh... so I'm gonna do this first. Because I'm noticing I have two moves until I castle. And you have one move until you stop it. So I'm going to go ahead and just protect that one move. And castle here shortly. Indeed. Huh? I just, I just don't know what to do. Yeah. And develop here. 
I'm actually realizing I could have just pushed C5 to close down, and then I actually would have developed or gave some room to my bishop to develop. But we are okay. Actually, I'll do it now. Go ahead and restrict your B pawn here. <laughs> and obviously the bishop. That's annoying. That's fun. I like it. Uh, I'm okay with Fuck that. Fuck your castle, bitch. See, if you had done it with the bishop, though, I wouldn't be able to respond like this. I could move the knight in, but I wouldn't have wanted to, so. That's annoying. Um... You're not ready. He wasn't ready. Yeah. What are you about to do? You stream sniping? Ah, uh, actually, you know, that's. Should I be stream sniping? <laughs> you need to be, Kappa. <laughs> Um, well, well, I have your stream up. I am just also not looking at it. It's like tabbed out on my Discord. Those. I just don't know what to do. I actually didn't need to do that, but... Yeah, that's solid. I was trying to fork with e4, but when you castled, you had the ability to move rook e8 afterwards, which, not assuming you would have seen it, but... Eh. Well, I can't castle. Unless I... Yeah, fuck your castle. Unless, you unless I'm a fan of white. hanging bishops like you. Ah, but... No, you haven't done that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't think you've hung a bishop today. If you do castle, you actually hang two bishops, which is fun. Well, it's not hanging the second, but well, you'd have a safe... A safe, I fun exit for when two, I... I would, I would be taking two bishops if you castle. Yeah. Uh, okay, that's cute. Rain, win the stream, dude. Who is that Santo or who's Q. asking Q? Oh. The other viewer. Kappa. Yeah, my fault. Shorty uh, fire burning. You have a chance yeah. to be really fucking annoying here. Whoa. But I don't think it's smart. I don't know what it is. <sighs> Something tells me this probably isn't it. Um, it's it is that. Okay, good. It's really. I I, I feel better. But about I don't my think it's good. Now. I think, yeah, I don't think it matters. I think you have to retreat. But we're about to find out. Only one way to find out on this episode. <laughs> Not retreating <laughs> theory. Uh. <laughs> It's like I don't know where the fuck else I could put this. Exactly. So. That's why I think you have to retreat because the only other way. I don't think there is another way. I think it's do or die. I think you have to retreat. I feel like he has to start over the build and stream it. I'm not shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like to already had to restart most of it. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, then I'm gonna do this. You saw why you had to retreat. Uh. Because I couldn't gain anything from it? No, because Rook A3. And there wasn't a way for you to, like, Word. stop that or keep both pieces down here and avoid it. Because if you move the bishop anywhere else, that's either Rook C1. I um, want to make that move, but you're just going to yeah. ampassant me. <laughs> <laughs> probably not. I probably will take with the other pawn. We'll see. Uh... I'll consider it. Okay, he's back. Did he just go through this? Um, hmm. got a couple of fun options here. Um, one of them is blundering the rook. That is. I like that one. You should do that one. That is a good one. None of the white squares are safe, but honestly, no. Yeah, never, never mind. I'm gonna play a little safer here. 
That makes sense. Your two uh pawns down here can go fuck themselves. <laughs> they are. I want to. I do was so really much. happy with that c5 press because it completely stops your bishop, other than like one square, and then you've got to move it across a different diagonal, which is also like you want to know who wasn't stopped. really happy about your c5 press. Who was it? Me. Okay, Luke. Please tell me. No, Luke. I told you the move. I told you the move. We've been through this. Oh, we have been through this. We have been through this. Through this has been. You kind of have a way out, but it's not actually. It was that, but it's not actually a way out. It hurts just a little bit less. If I didn't have the bishop there, it was a way out, though. Yeah, basically all I'm hearing is go fuck yourself. Yeah, that is all you should be hearing, pretty much, yeah. Um... Let me. Because Doctor C. How annoying should I be? Because the answer is yes. You know what could really go fuck itself? Your bishop, all the way across the board. <laughs> you can't even move your king. I mean, you got uh, one square, and you're obviously not. Oh my god, he's gonna. All right. I'm gonna, bitch. He's gonna. Um. Time to find out why that was a terrible decision. I mean, a lot of reasons. I'm just gonna do that though, play it slow. Uh, how do I wanna do this? Uh, it's not... you, you don't have a way to take back if I opposite. And then I just have a protected pass pawn. Yeah, especially when we have some real fun with this. And you're about to, I know what you're about to do. Uh, Actually, I, I know it. No, no yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do, do this know. first. Yep, I knew it. I so I was gonna push it. the pawn, but I'm gonna do this first, so that way your king can't move to c7, and then I'm gonna press the pawn. If I press the pawn first, then when I put you in check, it's just gonna go c7. Yeah, I don't really know why you did that. Um, and then I can do oh, this. I, kind of felt and like I don't it. even need to keep the rook behind it anymore. Oh. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Yeah, you needed to do that. I won't give you the satisfaction of it. <laughs> that was a solid, like, four moves. Uh, that, was, that was there for a while. <laughs> oh, my God. How long? I need to check. I literally I didn't even consider know. it. I was so focused on, like, pushing. It was literally, you moved it over, and then I did check, and you ran, and then I did check, and you ran, and then I still didn't take it. Three moves in a row and I didn't take it. It's apparently mate in five, actually. And that's just because I have all my shit pointed at you. And admittedly, the two moves that you have mate in five for are probably just moving a bishop in to like block a stupid chick. Yeah, something like that. Kate King E8. Apparently. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was uh that was a messy game. That was a... Uh, so where where did it turn around though? Where was where was the turning point? Let me. So obviously when you did the same move back and forth three times hey, and listen, then I, lost it, that was I, pretty solid. I threw out a stunner in the first in the first game and now we. Okay, so you're actually down pretty bad. So I was down bad when I. Well, because you you blundered train. a pawn, right? That did happen. You did blunder a pawn when you moved that knight in. I do that. But I was a one point four five advantage, and you kept it for a while here. Um, because oh, you played the right move there. I actually out? did not play the right move there, and neither did you. Huh. Oh, you were Word. supposed to play the check earlier. Remember how I said the that you pushed the e six pawn yeah. to get the bishop out to put me in check? You were supposed to play that earlier and then take back. Um, and then I stopped you from being able to do it. So I was able to gain that point back that I gave you. And then you gave me two and a half there with the bishop move, letting me develop. And then you gave me another wow. three and a half when you weakened your queenside pawns and I was able to close them down. And then you gave me four when you traded your strongest piece out. <laughs> and yeah, you know, so it was just a bunch of slow things. And that is the difference... You give me a fifth point here when you drunk the knight and bishop in. And then when you pulled the bishop out, you apparently gave me the seventh. And then when I canceled, I gave it all back, though. What was the bishop supposed to do? Hold on, bishop takes c5. Wow! You're supposed to sacrifice the bishop. Oh, 
because it's not a sacrifice because I hang the the D tonight. That's good board vision. Obviously, it's a computer. Um, but yeah, that actually gets a pawn back. Yeah. Obviously, it's a computer that knows every and single thing. Throws a rook down into the, the into the corner over here, into my side of the field. That actually wouldn't have been too crazy. Um, but then you get it right back to seven, and then you throw it up to eight when you decided to lose the two one of the two pieces. Um, you apparently put it up to nine when you tried saving the knight out of that. And then <laughs> so it really it wasn't any one part, which is interesting to see. It I was, just kind of fell apart by falling. What apart. it really is is you just didn't it would, you know what one of it really is you just haven't played 2000 games of chess that's what it is that's true i have only because played like because i played 2000 games of chess it's like even if i haven't seen an opening before i know generally what's the right idea right I like, and obviously i got a pawn from I you at the start but even the then that's only a point and a half right and i should have stopped you from playing um check earlier what actually was the right move c5 okay yeah so play instead of even taking back at all i should have left let the pawn sit there and play c5 and let you take it um i don't know how that would have been up a pawn but apparently the game liked it or bishop d3 what is bishop d3 what does that do i'm a, pro I'm a professional hater do you know that he takes and then i play c5 so one way or another i was supposed to play c5 which you basically allowed me to end up doing anyway once I closed you down. Whoa, with whoa, the dark whoa, bishop. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> well, actually, hold on. Was I supposed to do that here? Do I, Weird. Are we playing anything on Xbox Game Pass for a while? Is it about to expire? <laughs> uh, it expired while I was uh, in San Diego. So let me, let me see what we got. What, what do we got on Xbox here? Oh... There's a game I do kind of want to play. Well, so first off, there's Slime Rancher 2, so there is a game that you kind of want to play. No, not really. Why um, not, dude? It's such a fucking vibe, dude. Dude, you know, know what it is? You know what it is? You didn't hear uh, this from me, but if it's available on Cloud Gaming, you should play that when you get the chance on Cloud Gaming. I'll just, I'll just play chess instead. That's also fair. You should also just play chess. Have you done the guide yet? The guide. The chess lessons, but specifically the guide. I did a few chess so lessons. So when you go to learn and you go to lessons up in the top left here, there are all these lessons and you could do whatever the fuck you want. But if you click guide, these are like the very like how to get started ones. I've ran wager through this all the time. So there's that there's the new to chess how to play. You could probably skip that, but it is just kind of fun to go through it and have someone like tell you about it Word. and then the beginner okay. fundamentals like you probably know a good number of these but there's you definitely don't know all of it so i would recommend just going through the beginner fundamentals um and then through once you get through intermediate and advanced you'll be a thousand by the end of it you'll play Word. like a thousand, a thousand yeah well you should earn it first got him uh, I did renew my Game Pass simply because I downloaded You Suck at Parking before I left and haven't played it yet. <laughs> now you can't play it if you don't have it. And so now I I bought it and I can still buy breakfast tomorrow morning if I choose. Which <laughs> is a that was the main decision. By the Leaving way. soon, like slime. Dude, I need to play regular Slime Rancher. Fuck. I thought you have. I have. I thought that was really like the same type of weekend that you were on like now, but just like a while ago. I played it back in 2017. Well, um, it's just that nobody was there, so you were like, all right, fuck it. Dude, I was looking at my stream stats. There was a lot of streams where nobody was fucking there. Like, I thought recently the streams have been pretty slow. You know, you've been doing whatever here and there. Aaron's been gone every weekend and half the weekdays. Like, I figured, like, I felt like streams have been pretty slow lately. Bro, streams were dead back in there 2017, was a point where dude. You saying you had no viewers was not a joke. No, yeah, like, like, they're like all through, which explains why I was fucking dipshit depressed in 2017 beyond oh. the breakup. Um, because, like, bro, like, no one came to stream in 2017. Like, straight the fuck up. Like, I don't want to pull the stats up right now and then get all into it and be up way too late, but, like, like, there were, there. there were streams where I didn't average a viewer. Like, it was dead dead 
But yeah. All right, I'm out. Get sleep and play chess. Yep. Um, I was gonna put something. What was I gonna put in Discord? Ah, chess to mango. I'll do that after. Um, I'm out of here. I'll be live tomorrow. I have no earthly idea what I'll be on tomorrow. I might be on Slime Rancher too, just to vibe with Aaron. But also, like, I don't really have much else to do, and he does. So we'll see. Either way, um, I'll find something to do tomorrow. Um, I don't think I'll go back to No Man's Sky because if Aaron doesn't have to say it out loud, I was getting the vibe that he was not having a blast. Um. We could do PUBG. We could do Fall Guys. Could do Sea of Thieves. Could do Tetris. Could do AOE. I know some of these some of these words got Q perk in his ears over here. My dog. Um could do GTA. I don't know why that just hit me right there. Um, but GTA kind of sounds like a blast. Uh oh, grounded! Grounded, uh, fuck, I kind of don't want to really open up the Xbox app right now, but Grounded, like, just released or is releasing soon or something like that, so I'll look into that before going live tomorrow or just completely ignore it and pick something else to go live with. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't really feel like playing any of the other new games that we got down here, so that's it for me. Be good things. I'll be live tomorrow. I'll see you guys then. I'm out. I love you guys. Doses.